Star Report. I am your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Folks, this is going to be a show that possibly gets thrown away because I got the nap in today. I just took a B12 shot, and nigga, I'm on one. OJ Simpson is gone. That was my guy, Arnfo Simpson, to be precise. That was how you said his government name, okay? And um, white folks are big mad. I'm glad he's gone. Let me just say that right now. I'm glad he's gone because now you can't do anything else to him. You can't touch him now. Cancer is not a good thing, but, you know, he, he <laughs> did he do it? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I remember when the verdict came down. I was in uh, Banco Popular on the Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn, New York, and I screamed like a 15-year-old girl at a Debbie Gibson concert. Ah! Ran outside the bank, fuck the transaction. Dancing in the goddamn street, huh? White folks didn't know how to deal with the reality that he was acquitted of a double murder. And you know, never mind the white boy, the 25-year-old alleged drug runner for Nicole, because Nicole Simpson was 35 years of age at the time, if memory serves me correctly. And, and, and the young uh, alleged drug runner was 25. So he's hanging out with a, a bitch a decade older than him. What the fuck were they doing together in Brentwood, California? <laughs> Rumors say that he was, uh, you know, the facilitator. For, for, for the yay yo, the powder, huh? That good shit. Ran up a tab, kept telling the goddamn drug dealers, some type of Mexicans, OJ got this, OJ got this. And finally, at some point, you know, Pedro said, nah, you, you're pump faking. <laughs> Started stabbing him up, huh? That's all alleged, but you can Google it and find out uh, for yourself. OJ was my nigga. He came on the Star and Buck Wild show. You've heard the audio. I hugged that nigga when I saw him. I said, Juice! Juice! And I told him, I said, OJ, I had juice mobiles when I was a kid. We had a great conversation. Huh? This is a smack in the face. This is a black eye for the dominant society, for white America, for white supremacy. And again, I'm glad he's gone. They put him in the penitentiary, as you know, years later, he fucked around and tried to get back some stolen property, whatever, whatever. Huh? That hurt me. That hurt me. But I'm glad he's gone because now an incel can't run up and, you know, shoot him or some fucking lunatic, bitchified skinhead can't pop his top somewhere. Huh? Death is inevitable. But he's resting now. So eat a dick. Let me just say that early. Eat a dick, white America. This is a black show tonight. A blatantly black show. I'm going to come back to OJ. I just, I got so much going through my mind right now. He was one of the first, if not the first, to start doing all sorts of commercials. Hertz, rental cars, huh? Running through the goddamn airport, movies. Him and, him and Jim Brown were right there, neck and neck. It, well, actually, OJ, was, was, he crossed over. Jim Brown was more, Jim Brown was a real nigga. Fred Williamson. <laughs> Let me slow down. <laughs> but OJ was a real one. A real one. Mr. C, I love you. I love the memory of you. I couldn't do a show yesterday. I would have gotten emotional. A great human being. I, I was texting a few people from New York, you know, uh, radio people who always reach out to me and check on me, who keep trying to get me to come up there to do some old school stuff. And we'll talk about that later. And, and, and all I could say was Mr. C was a good human being. And they said, yeah, he loved you too, star. Salute to the memory of Kay Slay. He was another one who I truly, truly loved in terms of um, his presence his knowledge, they both helped me when, when I gangstered my way into radio. Did you know that? K. Slay listened to the Star Report, even when he was in the, um, uh, the hospital dealing with COVID. Let me just, give me a second. I got to go up the rails here. <clears throat> Mr. C, 
Um, last time he and I spoke was 2018. Uh, uh, was it 19? Going into 2019, I had just moved down to Georgia. He and I had a great conversation about, you know, radio, radio stuff. But at the same time, I said, hey, man, I want to thank you from the heart always for being there for me and Buck Wild. Mr. C used to let Buck Wild and his whole team come into Club Speed. Anybody remember Club Speed back in the days? That's all I can say for right now because I'll go, I'll, 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 I'll get emotional. So what? He liked boy pussy. And what? <laughs> A lot of you game goofy niggas out there, you watch tranny porn. Huh? You got tranny porn in your fucking phones. You're doing all sorts of weirdo shit. Yes, Mr. C admitted he liked a nigga with the wig to top him off. So what? So what? I mean, that's not my thing, but he owned up to it. But at the same time, he told you, in case you forgot, I know a lot of motherfuckers that know a lot of motherfuckers, and you have gotten touched if you said anything slick or sideways to his face. Now let's get back to my nigga OJ. OJ. <laughs> OJ, OJ, OJ. My my old friend uh Paul Mooney said it's a modern day Othello. <laughs> the white Bronco, huh? <laughs> AC on the phone uh, talking to the, the to, to the uh, police and the helicopters. You know me, AC. I got OJ with me. OJ sitting back there, you know, he, he got the blammer in his lap. Yeah. Thankfully, he didn't take himself out. Gangster nigga. Let, let me just give you a little bit in case you don't know. Born in 1947. Played 11 seasons in the NFL, Buffalo Bills. And then I think he, he his last team he played with was the San Francisco 49ers because he was from out west. USC uh, Trojans, okay? Heisman Trophy winner. Nine seasons with the Bills, okay, 1972 to 1976. I never saw him play live, but I, as I said, I met him. I hugged that nigga when he came into the studio at Hot 97. <sighs> He's gone. He's gone. Um, there's other things I want to talk about this evening, but like I said, I want to pace myself. We will go a little bit uh, sideways here this evening. Off the rails, if you will. Please be mindful of the language out the gate. But once once we get to grooving, go where you need to go. Let me just say that, all right? Florida Boy Jay, you can tap in if you like. One other thing I want to say. You know, I, I'm surprised that, I mean, I know some of you paid attention, but uh, can someone call in and, and give that young black girl some fucking credit tonight? It's a black show tonight. I'm not going to tell you her name. You should know her name. On the South Carolina college basketball team, the one who gave Caitlin Clark that fucking smoke, huh? Taking the ball from her. And did you forget that? Uh, what was it? Was it last year or the year before? Caitlin Clark waved her off as if you know, she's not even worth guarding. Remember that, troll babies? Same black girl who, who, who took the ball from her and took the game and got the fucking championship. I see some of you got your thinking caps on. Yeah, it was last year. I'm throwing you curveballs. See if you know what you know, okay? All right, uh, King Simon Mayor may not be tapping in. Uh, David, sit tight. We're going to get David de Cordova on the line tonight. David is um, one of my sponsors, but he's a guy who I have been talking to uh, behind the scenes in length. Very knowledgeable. Um, he's from Canada. He has a new book out called Angels. I just got my copy. Okay, you can go to my community section. You can order your copy. Uh, he also put out uh, two other books, The Bible Explained, Decoded, and also Decoded Part 2. Okay, the showrunner, tonight's showrunner topic, is Jesus a fictional character? I have said to you over the decades, there may or may not have been a carpenter from Nazareth who walked the earth, but do I think he was the son of God? No, I don't subscribe to the theory of God. But believe what you will. Let's have that discussion tonight. This is a topic we had on the Star and Buckwild show 15 years ago. 
Every once in a while, I'd bring it up, and I just I want to see if you what you think. Not that I want you to follow my lead. Again, I'm a non-believer in the theory of God, but what say you? Is Jesus a fictional character? Now, if you go to multiple sources on online, they still have a what appears to be a Caucasian. Well, it's already been proven based upon science and geological, you know, <laughs> references, factual references. If someone lived during that time in that region of the world, he would not have been a fucking uh, uh, a Caucasian with stringy hair. Phone lines open right now, okay? Um, all right, let's get the show rolling here. Um, CEO Dante, I got your donation. Are you tapping in, sir? Condolences. Okay, yeah, man. Thank you for your support. OJ was bigger than big. And let me just add this before I open up the floodgates. Back in the 70s, it, it was um, Muhammad Ali, Bruce Lee, Evil Knievel, and OJ Simpson. Th those were the big names. I might be missing somebody else I, I can't think right now, but those are the big ones. Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali, OJ Simpson, and Evil Knievel. All right. Andre P., I got your donation. Thank you for tapping. He says, long live uh, Juice, a true FBA great. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Samuel, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Okay. I'm going to bring David in shortly. Not, not just yet. Not just yet. David, if you want to cam up, um, that, that's fine with me. Yeah, you can cam up. Matter of fact, let me, let me send David the link now. Pardon me, guys. I got that old nigga napping today. <laughs> Nigga, we might do a five-hour show, huh? Fucking intermission. Hold on a second. David, David, David. Um, okay. David, I just sent you the cam-up link. But let me take a few calls, David, with regards to O.J. Simpson. Then we will get to our showrunner, okay? All right. Uh, let's go to area code 213. Good evening. O.J. Simpson, he's gone but not forgotten, along with Mr. C. Are you there? 213. I am. I am here, Star. What up, gangsta love, big homie? Hey, man, good to hear from you. What's cracking? What's shaking? Hey, rest in peace to the Jews. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Look, so when I was in high school, they had Channel One, and I remember when the verdict came on, too. I went to a private school, St. Pius. Only black people there was the athletes and, like, a handful of people that could afford to go to the school. Okay. And when the verdict came on, I told, I, hey, when the verdict came on and they said he was not guilty, you could hear with a pin drop. The white folks was mad, Star. They was <laughs> extra mad. And guess what I did? I started saying, yes, yes, yes. 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 And my teacher was like, get out of here. No, that's not acceptable. I Ooh. said, you know what? The hell with you. Yeah. Knocked all that bullshit off her desk and told her, hey, the juice lives. <laughs> and then I came back next week with a shirt called, uh, it was called Honky Serial Killer. Go oh, wow. look it up on eBay. Wow. It's got a picture of OJ on it, yeah. and it's got Honky Serial Killer on it. I got suspended for a whole week. Yeah. As you should. Yo. As you should. So, All right, so he's gone now. Um, do you know that um, uh, the, the white boy, the alleged drug runner, fuck his name, fuck his father, uh, they're still trying to, or they're talking about uh, suing OJ's estate. I, after his death, I don't know if you know about that, um, I, I want to see some, if they even try that, I think it might just be just be uh, talk. If they even try that, I think it's time to really dig into whether he was or wasn't the 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 drug runner for Nicole, uh, uh, OJ's ex, who he had, he had her since she was 16. Y y young tender, uh, Coochie, go ahead. So he married her, and truth be told, when OJ was kind of, um, like when it first happened, I honestly thought he was guilty. But as time went on mm. and everything started to come out, mm. I said, you know what? This makes sense. Maybe they did set him up because when you look at Nicole, uh, Nicole Brown, she was a good looking white woman. OJ was rich. He was good looking. Mm. Uh, he had he was she was hot when she when she was younger, when, when OJ first, you know, snagged. But then she got old. Yeah, you know, yeah. She was on that shit allegedly. She was run down, you know, she run down, but she was the mother of, of some of his children and the bitch uh, got out of pocket. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. So, so after, after you think about it, you think about through the history, whenever you see a black man, that's a millionaire, he lived in Brentwood. And if you know, California, Brentwood is yeah. one of the uh, affluent neighborhoods, mm -hmm. even to this day. So 
hey, that white man seen him with that white girl and was like, yo, I, I want to get rid of him. I want to take him down. My grandfather used to tell me the easiest diseases to catch in life are hate, jealousy, and envy. So when, when Mark Goldman, uh, the cop, what's his name? Mark Furman Mark investigated Furman, yeah. and found out. Racist piece of shit, but go ahead. Said, Racist piece of shit. Yep. Yeah. So look, he wanted to make sure that he could bring OJ down because yeah. He ain't never had no white woman that looked that good, star, never in his life. And then check it out. He admitted to saying racial slurs and racial epithets on multiple occasions. And then he said, hey, uh, yeah, we had different blood vials. So that made me think to myself, yeah. you know what? It's a possibility OJ could have been framed right. without Listen, it. I'm going to jump in right there, Gangs of Love. Um, Mark Furman uh, was, in my opinion, trying to salvage uh, a career because he was pointed out as being a racist. That's not alleged. So he was trying to then sway the, uh, the the masses so he could then write the books that he wrote and then go on tour. Fuck him. I thank you for your call. Thank you, man. All right, peace. Okay, gangs of love tapping in. Yeah. All right, some of you may uh, think, you know, well, maybe he did it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care if he kill, killed two people. He caught two bodies. Niggas die every day. I'm on that type of time tonight, all right? Um, hey, Patrice, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, Sir Shy, thank you. Yeah, San Francisco's own O.J. Simpson. Uh, someone's on the line from 646. You would be my next caller. Sit tight, 646. Um, and David, I see you in the queue. Sit tight, David. I want to get, get some of this O.J. Uh, <laughs> get the O.J. discussion going. I'm, I'm riled up, so sit tight. We'll, Sit tight, David. Point. We're going to bring him in. Is Jesus a fictional character? That is my showrunner. Um, Melanie, I got your donation. Thank you um, so much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She loved Mr. C, too. Yeah. Great guy. Great guy. Hell of a DJ. He used to play the Bum Bitch song on Hot 97 at 12 noon, even after I left. <laughs> <laughs> Area code 646. Good evening. We're discussing OJ Simpson. He's gone, but not forgotten. Are you there? 646. Hey, Star, I'm here. You hear me? How are you, sir? It's cracking. I'm I'm doing good, man. Yeah. Um, RIP to OJ Simpson. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it, it's yeah, you know, it, it's it's a sad day. You know, of course, white people are are, are more sad than what than what is going on right now. But uh I think we should remember him for his football accolades. And also for a black man who, who got off for a double murder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if he caught two bodies. I, I really don't. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Now, so, so, so like for the, uh, for the whole day, essentially, you know, of course, uh, not everybody on every on new circuit, they're, you know, they're remembering how um, the whole thing came, came about, mm -hmm. the, the Bronco chase. Yeah. On court TV, how, how people made their careers and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. All I can say about that is, um, of course, OJ is a polarizing figure. No, no, there's no if and buts or maybe. Um, with his trial, it was a, a race thing between white and black, yeah. a class thing between rich and poor, mm -hmm. and also um, a gender thing between male and female. So all you, ha you have these six different entities that are so strong in American history that came to the forefront, and people didn't know what to, uh, what to decide. Mm -hmm. But if I can jump in for a second, I'm not sure how old you are. And, and you don't have to know all this old stuff. I'm just, I'm old. I'm, I'm proud of my age. O.J. Simpson, if I'm not mistaken, could have been the first black athlete to cross over and, and get the huge endorsement deals. And there may have been somebody else, but I know Muhammad Ali didn't have like boxing gloves that were selling worldwide. Uh, Troll Babies, anybody else other than O.J.? At that particular point in time, he had juice mobiles. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Reggie Jackson. I'm going to Google Reggie Jackson had the candy bar. But I don't think Reggie Jackson was foundational black American. Go ahead, sir. I'm, I'm going to Google while uh, whilst you're talking. Go ahead, Reggie Jackson. Oh, no. You, you're right about that. Uh, and because um, people also highlighted that, too. That, you know, um, like who had a, um, like the biggest crossover at the time. And, of course, it was O.J. Simpson. You know, yeah. um, they also said that he laid, like, the blueprint for what. Um, Michael Jordan did with uh, Nike, and other people did with. And white folks loved OJ. I'm I'm sorry, I'm on with. They loved him, and and when 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 Nicole and 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 the the 25 year old uh, 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 Caucasian got got shanked and stabbed, 
and then OJ beat it. Then they got big man. Well, you know, we, we did so much for him. We gave him so much. That was their thinking. Go ahead. Yeah. Also, again, um, I know you're talking about um his pension that um that there's been talked that um either the Goldman or the Browns they were trying to get something out of that stuff right now that he's dead. Um, this guy was on on a show. One of his lawyers um called Douglas, and and asked him, and they, they specifically asked him about that. He's like, listen, if they couldn't get it when he was alive, and right. They tried. Right. Right. He definitely gonna get it. They when- never got the pension. Who F- fuck the Heisman Trophy? Fuck that trophy. But they couldn't get the pension. <laughs> Go ahead. Turned up, guy Jim. Yeah. Uh, no, it's all right, so, um, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, you know, of course, and, and again, um, my heart goes out to all the families involved in all this. You know, of course, I don't think anybody wishes to lose, lose a, lo- a loved one away the way they lost um, Nicole and um, Ron and yeah, also yeah. OJ. Um, his four kids. Put some respect on Mr. C's name. Fuck the dead crackers. Oh. Put some respect on Mr. C's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, Mr. C, you know, um, my condolences to Mr. C. I, I understand yeah. that um, he was a big part of your, your life and a big yeah, part of everybody's your, um, your life. Well. Not just me, but thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Uh, I mean, folks, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm on one. God damn. <laughs> let's, let's all get on code, guys. Has uh, King Flex <laughs> addressed OJ Simpson yet? <laughs> let's all get on code, god damn. Let's all, let's all get. Uh, <laughs> Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, was he foundational black American? I forget. I know he had uh, the the candy bar, the Reggie bar. (laughs) But he wasn't marketable outside of that candy bar like OJ. OJ was smashing bitches from here to Cucamonga, huh? Putting their ankles behind their neck. (laughs) I was so turned up when OJ Simpson came on the Star and Buckwild show. He kept saying, whoa, look out, whoa. Whoa, look out. <laughs> I can't Google this Reggie Jackson stuff right now, but just. <laughs> um, okay, I just spoke to this uh, young man. Thank you so much. Houston, let's go, man. Let, let's all get on code tonight. Uh, okay, David, I see you sit tight. I want to. I just want to address some more of these uh, people with regards to the Jews. Hey, Tara, Tara, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Yeah, she says RIP to Mr. C. He was a great human being great human being hey janet janet are you tapping in? i got your email okay okay i'm not sure where you're going but thank you janet sir shy thank you um and i read that one as well okay hey good evening area code um pardon me pardon me i'm doing a lot right now um 562 good evening are you there late night show We're going off the rails are you ready five six two hey how you doing brother my name is Dennis. how you doing peace brother Let's get to it, fam. Doing good. Let's go. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. good. Appreciate it, brother. First of all, yeah, RP, Mr. C. Right. I'm from Cali, but I live in Atlanta, and uh, I uh, got a chance to see him DJ when he, when the Biggie, uh, they they throw Biggie concerts down here in Atlanta. Yeah. And I was able to see Mr. C when he did uh, one March night, he came down and did a a set. So definitely, uh, that that was definitely a shock. That was definitely a big, big shock. Um, a phenomenal DJ. Let, let's let's not forget a phenomenal the, DJ, huh? The the, the knowledge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dude, the history. Dude, nice. A matador across the fucking globe, huh? Respect to Big Daddy Kane uh, and everybody else. Come on. Yes, yes, sir. No, he definitely was a uh, definitely was an icon. But um, in regards to the OJ situation, I posted on TikTok um, my little piece about it. I, I said on there um, how I was 14 years old when this whole situation popped off and, uh, you know, how emotional my mom got when she thought they were going to kill OJ or he was going to mm-hmm. kill himself when he was in the car. Right. Never seen my mom. I, I seen my mom cry before, but I never saw her get emotional like that because she thought that we were going to see some shit on live TV. Right. That was just going to be, like, horrible, horrible. So, right, 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 you know, right. when I think about that, that's, like, one of my fondest memories, but... I will say this, and this is being very objective. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, um, I support OJ only because of the fact that the man was found not guilty. Now, in regards to his character, if black people or white people felt that he was an asshole, piece of shit, jerk, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying, that has nothing to do with the fact that the man went to court, yeah. he hired the best attorney to ever yeah. live. And they if it beat- doesn't fit, you must acquit. Salute to Johnny Cochran. Let's go. Exactly. He he beat the case, and that was it. Because a lot of cats don't remember this. I'm not sure if you knew that if OJ was found guilty of that shit, he was going to get the death penalty. 
Yeah, there was a whole lot of talk, sir, but, but you know. <laughs> no, no, I remember that. I remember yeah, them saying yeah. that well, in California, uh, yeah. California is a gas chamber. And I yeah. remember them saying yeah, that yeah, you yeah. was going to get that <laughs> if they found him guilty. So that's another reason why a lot of us didn't want to see OJ go down because that long walk to that damn chamber was going to be a, a mm-hmm. son of a bitch. But at the end of the day, all these white folks coming on TV, coming on social media, you know, in their feelings and still this, that, and the third, is that I personally believe OJ knew who did it. He might have been there when it happened, but did he put that knife to that woman's neck and put that knife to that man's neck? Fuck no. Mm. I don't think OJ was smart enough to do a Colombian necktie. I don't think he had the intelligence or the gall or the or, or, or the know-how to do some shit like that. Well, sir, let's not uh, kick dirt in OJ's direction. He was very intelligent. The man went to USC. Um, no, but if you ask me, uh, they, they ran up a tab. Nicole. Nicole Simpson, oh, yeah. a.k.a. Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Brown, huh? And, and that at some point, you know, and, and, and by the way, let me just say, fuck Cato, uh, Kalen, the, the little uh, dirty ass uh, a cracker, you know, sleeping in OJ's, uh, uh, one of his uh, the guest house or some shit. They ran right. up a goddamn tab, you know, and at some point, right. the goddamn Mexican cartel said, no, no, we, we need the 30K now. We need it right now. You, you, you're out here sweating. You're looking crazy. Just give us 10K. Oh, you don't have it? It's showtime. Go ahead and finish up. Hey, see, did you also know that it was actually a white dude that came to the house the day before doing some kind of cleaning up or some kind yeah, of, yeah, he was yeah. a repair man of some sort, and he was messing around with uh, Nicole. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're in the information stage right now where we have the internet at our disposal. We can look up a bunch of information and learn about the past, mm-hmm. and a lot of people fail to do that shit. It's a lot more to this case than what people were uh, knew about back in 94 and 95. Right, right, but, right. but besides all of that, that's irrelevant. The man did not kill those two women. He didn't make it no better by, you know what I'm saying, by gloating about it. No, so it wasn't two women. It sir. was it was two people. Corrections, two people. Not two two people, I'm sorry. Yeah, two people. He didn't make it no better by gloating after the fact. However, take, the, take all that out of it and just get it through people's thick skulls. The man beat the case. Yeah. And see, we, have, we, we, we as a people, we are so used to black people being found guilty, when you kill two white people or kill one white person, back in the day, that was an automatic death sentence. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no trial, wasn't no jury, wasn't no yeah, right. due process. It wasn't none of that shit going on. Right, 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 if right, you right. were accused, you were guilty. Yeah. So they, This was the payback. This was the big payback. It's a big, yeah, yeah I, I, guess you, I, I guess you could say some James Brown shit, yeah, big payback. <laughs> I guess you could say that, but like I said, at, at the end of the day, the man is the, the man is not here. Okay. And, you okay. know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think it's, I think now it should be closure to the entire situation now, period. No, sir. I think it's over no, no, now. No, 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 sir. Now, now we're going to rub it in, in people's faces even more. I, I might do a week's worth of shows <laughs> on OJ, o, OJ caught two bodies. And what? That's tomorrow's uh, show. Hey, before you go, man, my showrunner, is Jesus a fictional character? Please, just entertain me. No, he's me. not. Come on. Come on. No, he's not. Come on. That man, that man lives inside of me. That man lives in front of me. He's done so much for my life. And it's really, it's about him. But more importantly, it's about the God inside of you. Don't, I still don't rely on another man to do what I know I'm supposed to do. Mm. I do pray to God, and God is a, is an influential part of my life every single day. However, okay. Okay. I'm, not the, I'm not that type of believer to where I'm going to just strictly pray on everything and turn the other cheek and allow somebody that I can't see to do every single thing for me. Okay. Is that I rely on him, but you got to get out here and get things done on your own. And what is your name, sir? Where are you from? What is your name? Where are you from, sir? You say um, Jesus is. Well, uh, my name is Dennis. I was I was born in Chicago, raised in L.A., but I'm okay. currently living in Atlanta right okay. now. And you know what I'm saying? I'm so, a- so Jesus is real. You know the truth. And I'm okay with that if you stand on that. You know the truth. I believe Jesus is real, but I will admit to you, I'm the wrong person to break it down. No, no, no sir. No, sir. Come on, oh, come on. Is Jesus the truth? It's either yes or no. Is Jesus Absolutely. the truth? Okay. Okay. That, absolutely. Like I said okay. before, he lives inside of me. He lives outside. Okay. Of me. okay. Hang on a second, sir. I'm, I'm on one. I got the old nigga napping. What's your name again? And where you from? My name, my name is Dennis. I'm calling from Atlanta. Okay. So if you have the truth, let me hear you say, Dennis. 
I got your number. I know who you are. That the Jews live in false hope. If you got the truth and Jesus is real, the Jews live in false hope. Let me hear you say it, Dennis. You said Jews live in false hope? I mean... You heard me. The Jews live in false hope. I mean, I can't, I can't condemn nobody else by myself on that, man. I can't, I can't do that. Dennis, I'm, I want you to get your scary ass off the line. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hang up, Dennis. No you, doubt. No doubt, brother. You, you scared. You scared of the Jews. Hang up. No, no I'm not your brother. God damn, no. Folks, I'm going there tonight. <laughs> Folks, that's how you catch a Christian, so-called Christian. Ask him, say, well, do you have biblical truth? Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Yes? Okay, well, then let me hear you say that the Jews live in false hope because they don't subscribe to Jesus. And on that note, let's bring him in. Oh, there he is, David D. Cordova. David, how are you, man? How are you doing, Star? Doing great tonight. Thanks. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to make sure I get you. Just move up a little bit. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. You um, you are a scholar of sorts. I have your books decoded, decoded too, and your latest book, Angels. Yes. Yes, sir. Angels is available out right now on Amazon. Order you a copy. Yes. This topic I've addressed this on the Star and Buck Wild Show over the years. It's not a new topic for me, but you and I have been talking and um uh, a few other uh, titles we have uh, you know, agreed to discuss on the show yeah. is jesus a fictional character can you take it from there take your time and we will get back to the callers and uh, the other topics with regards to um oj and mr c please okay so jesus the dark-skinned man from northeast africa Putin just released the, the picture, so it's okay. I'm safe now. The dark-skinned man from Northeast Africa that was killed in a state execution. So fiction was applied to this man. The man existed. His name was Yeshua, but they turned him into a sun god. And the irony is today, millions of people cast their sins on a victim of police brutality, as far as I'm concerned. Jesus was a victim. He was brutalized by the state, if you to, to say the least. So I think that they applied mythology, they imposed mythology upon the man to create a doctrine to control the masses and suppress a revolt. And it worked. It, it, it was a genius uh, move. The strategy worked. And if you look deep enough, you'll see all the correlations of the sun god worship. His name was Yeshua. The word yes is in Yeshua. Yes is a positive affirmation. It means we are in agreement through the gesture of a head nod. The head rises and falls. Yes. It means uh, that's the rising and falling of the sun. So it's even coded in our behavior, the way we gesticulate and articulate with each other, the name and the gesture of the head nod. Sun rises, sun falls, Yeshua. And that's the Sunday. And the Sunday is the seventh day. And the seven is the symbol of Yeshua, the se which is the, the right degree angle upside down like this. This represents Yeshua. So he's the right degree angle upside down. That's the seven up. So another reference to the sun. And if I can course, jump in, sure. if I can jump in. And folks, I'm going to be letting David do most of the talking here because this is his world. He um, His books, again, Decoded, Decoded uh, Part 2, uh, Secrets of the Lord, and his recent book, Angels. These are the uh, topics he enjoys discussing. Um, I, I want to bring it back to the Bible and other religious doctrines and the, the immaculate conception of uh, theory that has gone on for a thousand years prior, right? Prior to the so-called birth of Christ. This is, a, it was a very common story, immaculate conceptions, yes? Born of a virgin, that's, he wasn't the first to have that particular story attached to him. 
Absolutely not. He most definitely wasn't the first. We've seen this story many times. Horus, the Egyptian sun god, same thing, immaculate conception. You have uh, Helios in, in Greece, Mithra, Persian, uh, and the list goes on and on and on of other solar deities with a similar story. Even Tammuz, the reincarnation of Nimrod and Semiramis uh, in Babylonian uh, texts. So this, like I said, this story was applied to him. Very common story to be born of a Very virgin. Um, and, and to be precise, because I, I you, you know, you know, I studied uh, <clears throat> multiple religions uh, before I reached a rational awakening uh, to atheism. Um, Jesus supposedly was nailed to a stake upright, not a cross, right? Yeah. Stake, yep, yeah, that's correct. Stake, stake. Many people had that twist, and when I see people wearing a, a what they say is a Jesus piece with his arms extended, <laughs> I just oh. He, you know, I don't even bother having a discussion because, you know, it's the greatest story ever told. Um, with regards to the the, the deity, and, and the deities didn't start with Jesus of Nazareth. Can you give us a little insight on how, how far back the deities go with other figures by way of um, um, immaculate conceptions and things like that? I go back uh, just to the Egyptian story of Horus, the sun god. And we all know that the Romans were obsessed with Egypt. So it's no coincidence that they incorporated this material in the creation of the doctrine because the Greeks and Romans, well, they learned everything from the Egyptians. So they took this information and applied it to the man Yeshua to turn him into a solar deity. I wanna put one more thing on the table before we open up the floodgates. Um, other than the infancy, Gospel of Thomas, not the Gospel of Thomas, but the infancy Gospel of Thomas, which has stories about Jesus when he was, you know, a child turning his friends into uh, clay figures and literally killing them. Yes. Yeah. Other than the infancy Gospel of Thomas, what other doctrines or or religious things do you have to show that there actually was someone named Jesus prior to? Uh, the Gospels in the uh, quote-unquote Bible, God's Law. They had some book, uh, I think it was Jesus of India. It was the, the missing years of his life between uh, 13 and 30. Uh, that's another book. I haven't read it yet, but I'm trying to get my hands on that one. Quite popular. Why wasn't it included in the Old Testament and the New? That's my question. Mm -hmm. You see, the infancy Gospel of Thomas, for those who don't know, is not a part of the Holy Bible. Um, so is it fair to say, based upon your knowledge, mm -hmm. there is no other, and I don't even want to use the word proof, but I'll say proof for lack of better words, proof with regards to uh, Jesus prior to, you know, um, um, what most people know by way of the Bible? Pretty much uh, our knowledge of him comes from this story. Mm -hmm. So we take it as historical fact. No, they're tight. So tight, David. Guys, David uh, D. Cordova is on the line with me. We're having a, a discussion here, but I also want to uh, make sure that we are discussing my nigga OJ. He's gone. He will not be forgotten. And Mr. C as well. Area code 434. Good evening. Are you there? You want to join the conversation? Yes. Yes, so I'm here. How hey. are you? Hey, hey, who's this? Um, my name is August. Hey, baby. Hey, uh, so I'm calling with the debate that you got going on. Is Jesus a fictional character? Okay. Can you come I'm, closer to the phone? It sounds like you're on a, a T-Mobile. Yeah, I'm on my Puerto Rican phone, okay. but it's T-Mobile. <laughs> well, well, can you take off the headset and just, just come closer, baby? I got this you. Is I got you. A very All important right, conversation. So come on. I got you. I got you, Star. So is Jesus a fictional character? I believe Jesus is not a fictional character. Okay. I just believe that his um, ethnicity is the character. I believe that Jesus is a black man, and they don't want us to believe that to be as so. But with the thing that's going on with politics and police versus black America, I do believe as so that since the word has been delivered to us that Jesus has always been a black man, but has been um, whitewashed. 
I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, so that's 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 my belief. Um, as far as the thing with like Jerusalem right now and uh whatever war that's going on right now, it's the white war versus like Ethiopia versus the truth. So, um I do believe Jesus is a, a, a black man, but the um Do you believe that he walked the earth? Do you believe that, you know, he he was real as opposed to the folklore in, in the Bible. And, yes, and even though even though we might not want to believe that um the guy I can't remember his name off top. Um George uh George Clinton, where you going, baby? Where you going? No, no, no. The guy that got killed by the police. What's his name? Floyd. Oh. Floyd. You mean Gator from from do the do the right thing? Okay, now, yeah, now, now <laughs> do the right thing. Right? I'm sorry, folks. I'm on one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you need more white people. You need more black people on the wall, Sal. <laughs> Come on, baby, George now, Floyd. Even though, George Floyd. Come on. Yeah, all right, now George Floyd. George Floyd. Okay, we got him. But it was other people. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But George Floyd is the one that we got up on the board right now, and um. Even though the um the drugs was um in in the mix, but at the end of the day, Israel's always versus the black man. Period. Baby, with all due respect, I appreciate you calling in. It's a black show tonight, but are you high on that shit? I can't follow you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sipping on a little a little bit of um. Keith Mustado, okay, respectfully, as you should, baby. This, um, this is the star report. Come as you are, goddamn, but hit that donation. Hey, hey, now listen, listen, before you hang up, come before on. you um shut my mic off, no, no, come on. I've been listening to you, I've been listening to you forever, bro. And God bless, God okay? bless, God bless, baby. Stay in touch now, even though get that donation in, <laughs> sipping on Moscato, you know, stumbling and fumbling. <laughs> Folks, let's all get on code. OJ is gone. And white folks are upset. Area code 216. Good evening. 216. Let's Good get evening, to big. Good evening, big nigga. How you doing? How you feeling? Sir, I I'm live and in full effect. OJ is gone. I'm glad that, that they can't touch him. And my nigga, Mr. C, rest in peace. Where do you want to start? For a show. Rest in peace to one of the ghosts, OJ, man. Yeah. I see the white people up in arms, man. They up in arms about what he supposedly did but you know what oj is the he's the walking definition he's literally a legend walking around you know what i'm saying he's the definition of a legend so whether they feel like he did it or not guess what not guilty if it don't fit it must have quit rest mm. in peace to the goat facts um uh, I'm, I'm glad the, the way that uh i don't know if you watch cam and may show but they used to have them on every month. I fuck with Killer Heavy, and I love Cameron for bringing OJ Simpson on there. My That's nigga, exactly, huh? man, they gave come on, come on, to go his flowers, man, and they, and they and they showed a side to him that a lot of people didn't realize. OJ was funny as shit, yeah, unintentionally funny. You know what I mean, and, and knowledgeable as well. So I'm glad that they gave gave that man his flowers and his his time to shine. Facts. You know, before yeah. he passed. So the salute to them for that. Right. And um, right. he just I, even even I see a lot of black people talking about, well, he didn't even like black people. He didn't like because he had the line where he told the uh, report. I, hey, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Right. You know what? These right. niggas don't them niggas don't understand how to protect a bag, man. Right. That, you know, that that man was a brand. Movies, all kind of shooting. He was that nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, he it's, it's a. He was protecting his brand. You know, you right. can't you can't knock that. People get all emotional about that. No, that nigga protecting his brand. And yeah. and he did and he did well. You know what I mean? He had every he had the white folks on his side. He had everybody. So it is what it is. You know, yeah. the nigga went, man, listen, the nigga got away with whatever they said he allegedly yeah. did. The nigga, he caught two bodies, sir, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hear me loud and clear. Two bodies. I don't hey. give a fuck. <laughs> Facts. Big facts. The nigga caught two bodies. Yeah. The nigga made the nigga made the Bronco popular as shit in the hood. Right. I'm talking about and and, and that time in them nineties and them in them late nineties and mid nineties, yeah. that niggas riding through the hoods and Bronco with big ass rims on them and sounds right, and right. all of that. So 
he, he, he popularized the Bronco. Yeah. You feel me? And he, he, he just, he was the man. You know what I mean? They try, they try to kind of like put little asterisks by his records, but uh, you can't ignore it. You're right. talking about over 2,000 yards in a, in a, a time where they only played like 12 or 14 games. A single season. You know what I mean? Sir, so, a single season. Facts. Facts. It's undeniable. So how, however they want to try to ignore it, you can't ignore it. Yeah. Um, I'm glad the way he, you know, he, he passed is a, that's an ugly disease that cancer, but you know what? I'm so glad that he passed in peace with his family inside his big ass mansion. So these white folks can be pissed about it. You know what I mean? They would have loved to see him, that man rot in jail. Hell no. Nah. He, he went, he, he did it his way. He did everything his way. And I love that. Hang on a second, because I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm uh, in 1973, uh, OJ uh, rushed for 200 yards in a 34 to 14 victory over the New York Jets and set an NFL record with 2003 yards rushing for the season. I just want to be accurate because we're on we are, we're on code tonight. So I just want to thank you for bringing that up. For sure. You. Yes, sir. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, before you go, sir. Hey, listen, this, but hey, hang on. I'm, before you go, uh, Raven Johnson, are we putting some respect on her name tonight? Because that's that's the black woman, black girl, pardon me, who uh, Caitlin Clark, remember last year, waved her off as if oh, yes. you're not even worth guarding. Remember that? Yes. She ate, she ate Caitlin food. Hell ate her yeah, food. she ate her food. Ate her food. And, and you know what? I wish she, I wish she would have did the Angel Reese tour, the Tony oh, Yo-Yo can't see me shit in her face. That would have been beautiful, I wish huh? she would have did that. Now, sometimes you got to get ignorant with a nigga, man. That Peyton Manning looking ass white broad, man. Yeah, you got to yeah. get ignorant with a nigga sometimes, man. There you go. But I uh, I did want to tap in one time on that guy. Is he, I mean, he's a fictional character. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Um, I believe so. I'm not heavy into religion and all of that. I believe he's a fictional character. I believe everything in the Bible is not, is, you know, it's not literal. It's a The Bible is a tutorial. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and in a tutorial... You can't just have rules, niggas. You know, you can't just have rules. You got to have examples. So when you see niggas getting turned into pillars of salt and niggas getting burnt and all of that, <laughs> they just saying, man, you niggas gonna get, you niggas gonna get spanked. You niggas gonna get spanked if you don't follow these rules, yeah. man. You know, you can't you right follow a set of rules. Niggas gonna be like, on. God's law, shit, niggas. Sir, 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 God's yeah, law, God's law. Yeah, hey, you gotta have. You gotta have consequences for these niggas, man. And <laughs> shit, apparently, hey, niggas still don't care. Niggas still wilding like yeah. it is what it is. But yeah, yeah. uh salute. Thanks for taking my call at Rest in Peace to the Goat once again. Thank star. you, man. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Dope man, check your email. I just sent you the link to cam up. We're going off the rails tonight, goddamn. David, can you pull up the infancy gospel of Thomas? I forget. What did Jesus uh Make one of his little friends fall off the roof or something. I forget. Can you... Or turn him into a frog or something. I'll pull it up, man. What we having that talk to huh? Let's take a look at this. I gotta... This was killing niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I read that back in 1986. I said, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> the infancy gospel of Thomas. <laughs> Give me a second, folks. Give me a second. Um... Uh, Sir J. Timothy, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Yeah, so it's a black show tonight. Let's all get on code, goddamn. Um, uh, Star, if you believe Jesus isn't a fictional character, I have beach beach front property for sale in Michigan. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Fire started tapping in. Uh, how the fuck did Star outlive DJ? Um, let's see. Easy. That was my guy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, man, I'm, I'm out living a lot of niggas, man. A little bit later, I'll tell you, I'll remind you in case you don't know if I started about that, that, that Jamaican woman down in uh, uh, Crown Heights. 1994, walking past my store, she and she looked at me and she said, you're the devil star. You got everybody fooled. Anyway, thank you for your donation. Uh, Bussy Nation, I got your donation. We lost a real pioneer. Okay, okay. Okay, you, you're cracking jokes. Yeah, but Mr. C owned up to it. He liked niggas with wigs topping him off. Some of you niggas are, are watching tranny porn. And, and you're sending donations to, uh, to niggas with wigs. How about that one, huh? So, somebody's got tranny porn fucking lit on porn, 
Por- what is it? Pornhub and the rest of those goddamn platforms. Um, said tight Dave, 105, one fam. Even atheist historians admit that Jesus of Nazareth walked the earth. No, sir, it, it's it's a discussion. Don't try and act like, oh, well, even atheists believe. Stop the cap. David, did you pull the infancy gospel of Thomas, sir? Yeah, it says he killed someone uh, for bumping into him. Somebody bumped into him as a little boy. Read it, read it, read it, read it. He said, uh, sounds crazy. The infancy gospel of Thomas alleges that Jesus killed someone who bumped into him when he was just a boy, which is what uh, Jesus told the person they would go no further and they dropped dead. That's that's deep. So Jesus was on that that nigga shit that, that, you know, niggas uh, in New York used to be, yo, you stepped on my brand new Adidas. Duck ass nigga, pow! Jesus was, was on that type of time, supposedly. Somebody scuffed my converse. <laughs> Show good. But, but can you read the infancy gospel of Thomas? Don't just read someone else's assessment of it. Do you have it? Did you did you pull it? No, no I, I don't have the book. No, no. Okay, can you go to Google and type in infancy Google. gospel yeah, of Thomas? Infancy gospel of Thomas. Stay right there, David. Stay right there. Stay right there. Um. Area code 248, good evening. I'm on one. Are you there? Talking about a few topics. I'm on one. I'm on one checking in. Rocky Road, what's good, Star? Yes, sir. How are you? Rest in peace. Rest in peace to the the juice, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, really, I mean, they really was in uproar. Let's let's call a spade a spade. He killed two white Jewish people and he got away with it and they didn't like that. So let's call it what it is. Was Nicole Brown a Jew? I forget. I think she was just poor white trash. I forget. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's why they kind of alienated her because she was dealing with the others. You know, so. Are you sure, though, sir? Because I don't really want to Google. Troll Babies, was Nicole Brown a Jew? You sure, sir? Yeah. But, yeah, you can look it up. Okay, go ahead. And, uh, you know, you know. OJ, he did his thing, man. You know, he, uh, unfortunately, he ran out of money, so he went to case for a petty crime the next time they got him from the front of the judge. But that's what happens when you run out of money. And him saying, I'm not black, I'm OJ, he just said, I don't want to be around you broke fucks. You ain't got no money, get the fuck from around me. So can you turn that down in the background, please? We have some echoes and stuff yeah. like that. Go ahead. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, uh, hey, you know, rest in peace to, to the juice, man. And um, as far as, uh, you know, him getting away with stuff and everything like that, man, I just, it's, it's over with now, man. He's out of here, and uh, it's been one. So are we smoking on the OJ pack tonight? Well, sir, you can do whatever you like. I, I just want to be, you know, um, um, approach this from a, uh, you know, a rational position as 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 to why uh, Caucasians were upset and are even more upset. And to be precise, sir, OJ wasn't broke. He was getting, if memory serves me correctly, and you can Google this. I think twenty five thousand a month from his NFL pension. That's good money, sir. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. He, he, well, yeah. he was just on real nigga time and he was out in Vegas and he wanted his stolen shit back, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I want my shit and I'm here for it. My man here got the gun. You know, everybody freeze or else he was on that type of time. Yeah, well, well, when I say broke, he was definitely not broke at all, but he wasn't at a level he was in 95 right. compared to when that shit happened. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. right. if he had been on that level with that money, he wouldn't have never went to jail for that, that shit, you know? So, so you're doing a lot of cursing, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, sheesh. OJ was not broke. Let me get the facts right. David, did you find the infancy gospel of Thomas, sir? I think so here. Infancy gospel of Thomas. Well, what do you mean you think? So hang on a second. Uh, Does the atheist have to pull it up? Hold on a second. <laughs> it's Sparrows, Curses, Chapter 5. Uh, by Mark Madison. I, I got it right here. I got it right here. Oh, translation. Want me to send you the link? Hold on a second. I got. I got yeah, it. yeah. I'm on real nigga time tonight, man. Now this is um. Uh, this is uh, you know, this is crucial to what we're discussing. I just sent you the link. Infancy Gospel of Thomas. Okay. Let me scroll down. Let me scroll down. 
Okay. Yeah, man, Jesus was killing his friends, man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Vengeful, yeah. Uh, the text describes the life of the child Jesus from the ages of 5 to 12. Hmm. Okay. Check your, your, I sent you the link yeah. and I want you to just read this, man, because you are my, um, you know, you're my scholar of sorts tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me bring another call. We bring in every code 334. Good evening. RIP to Mr. C. OJ Simpson has white folks upset. Are you there? Three, three, four. Yes. Yo, I'm here. Yes, sir. Calling in for Tuskegee. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah. The Jesus shit is fiction. They had seven eucumenical councils over 900 years voting on whether he was a man or a soul or a spirit or whatever. So it's all there to read. I mean, the Romans made, made it up. They took other forms of Christ and made it what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Are you yourself a religious man? Let's have a discussion. Or is that all you want to say? Um, I used to be religious. I'm I'm just more or less spiritual now, man. Okay. All the stories kind of run together. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I don't think nobody can define what can't be defined. Nobody was here in the beginning, so, you know, that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Okay. But I just want to kind of straighten that out. The Christian church pretty much voted. Uh, you can look up uh, eucumenical councils. It was seven well, so up. I don't have time to look up anything. I want to hear you break it down. I got yeah, yeah. a bunch of windows so, open. So that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty much breaking it down. Okay. So it's seven councils. Uh, they voted each time on whether he was a spirit or a god or whatever. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, man. <laughs> you say you're spiritual, so you believe in spirits and demons and warlocks and genies and uh, the tooth fairy, yes? <laughs> I believe in the possibility. I never seen any of that shit. <laughs> it's possible though. Well, if you subscribe to spirituality, why would you discard the tooth fairy and 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 the uh, genies? Genies in a bottle, you know, right? I mean, Superman too. If you want to make a list up, I mean, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I never, I never seen any of that. So, I mean, I don't know. Okay, I, I appreciate the call, sir. Not there that we can't. I know there are forces we can't define, right. and that don't mean we got to put a name on it. Okay. Thank you for your call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. David, what do you got, man? And Dope Man, check your email. I sent you the link. Dope Man, are you camming up? On one tonight. What do you got, David? The Infancy Gospel of Thomas. So it's an apocryphal gospel, and it's said to be more on the Gnostic tradition, so it wasn't really included. That's why it was discarded. Right. So but but did you see the part about Jesus killing his his friends? Uh, no, not yet. I said he back talked to his father though. We didn't yeah. catch that. He was rude to his dad. That's for sure. He's obedient. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let you continue reading because uh, it's in there in terms of how he killed his friends. Hang on a second. Uh, food, peace, and self care got you donation. Star, I had had to. He stepped on my friend. Oh, I had to. He stepped on my. My fresh uh, air Nazareths. <laughs> Let me put this in the live chat. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, guys. There's the infancy gospel of Thomas. Um, Killer, what's up, girl? She says, uh, Jesus is real, Pops. Thank you, Killer. Hey, if you believe, you believe. But we're having the discussion tonight. Killer always sending in Skrilla, huh? Isn't that a, a beautiful, alleged daughter? It sends me Skrilla. I ain't never paid child support a day in my fucking life. Um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, Killer. I know Wendy Williams is the one with regards to um Mr. C. But I'm not going in that direction tonight. Mr. C owned up to it. Got love for that nigga, you know? Um, but thank you, Killer. Thank you so much. Uh, Charlie, got your donation. Jesus was a real nigga. Okay, okay, okay. Jella, got your donation. Juice is loose. The blonde uh, represents purity. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, dope man. I sent you the link. Jail, I got your donation. David famous for his bussy on the Mount Sermon. <laughs> what are they talking about, oh, David? You want to respond to that? <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on a second, David. Then I'm gonna come back to you. We're having a good discussion here this evening. Area code nine seven three. Uh, OJ Simpson dead, died of cancer. Why folks are upset? Are you there? Nine seven three. Yes, I. Yes, I am here, Star. Quick question. Are, are we dealing with the algorithm tonight? Well, don't come out the gate cursing. Can you join the conversation then as we pick up a little traction if you have to go there? But don't don't profanity every three seconds. You feel me? I mean, I do want to keep this uh, video up if I can. Go ahead. Okay, well, with that being said, rest in peace to Mr. C. Right. Rest in peace to OJ. Right. He showed you cats how to catch a case and beat a case. He came in there with not one lawyer, not two lawyers, right. not three lawyers, not four lawyers, but five lawyers. And four of them was white. Mm. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and peace to anybody that had the OJ action figure back in the 70s. I had the juice mobiles. I had his shoes. Oh, I, I just had the action figure. I ain't had a juice mobile. I just had the action figure with the helmet. <laughs> hey, but Star, salute, man. I love what you're doing, bro. Thank I you, mean, sir. Me. I love what you're doing, man. No, no, sir, sir, tonight it's a black show. I'm your brother, Brother Star, tonight. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. And thank you for all the game you give out, too, man. Thank you, man. Salute, salute. Yeah, Khloe Kardashian's uh, alleged father is dead now. <laughs> Uh, OJ, uh, supposedly he smashed uh, Chris Kardashian. You ever heard about that, David? Oh, you're, you're reading. You're reading the Emphasis Gospel of Thomas. Okay. Uh, yeah, supposedly OJ smashed um, Chris Kardashian, and that's where uh, Chloe came from. Uh, <laughs> the Kardashian, I forget his name, his first name, that was one of OJ's lawyers. So they're all were in cahoots together. And, and let me just say, fuck Bruce Jenner. Bruce posted somewhere on social media, good riddance with regards to OJ. Your name is Bruce, my nigga. Not, not, not Caitlin, okay? You're, you're a gruesome looking fucking man. Big ass uh, Fred Flintstone hands with fucking fingernail polish. You won the decathlon, okay? All right. Um, David, what do you got, man? Did you read? Is that your first time reading the Infancy Gospel, Thomas? David? Yeah, I'm not I'm not really familiar with this text, no. Oh shit. No, not the atheist with a fucking uppercut. Hang on a second. <laughs> Blade, I got your donation. Nigga, quit talking, right? Well, well, sir, Blade, I'm I'm at, I asked a young man earlier if the Jews lived in a false hope. I don't believe. So so he did not want to address that. Uh, let me go to area code 770. Going off the rails. Good evening, O.J. Simpson. Gone but not forgotten. Mr. C, are you there? Seven, the seven. juice is loose. Let's go. The juice is loose. Yeah. These white folks are pissed because they have unplaced hatred, mm -hmm. penis envy. Mm. At one time, they, the juice was loved by white folks. Yeah. But when he, supposedly he killed this blonde and they just couldn't take it. Yeah. They just couldn't take the fact that this man turned on them supposedly yeah you talked about the kardashians he was um banging his ex-wife actually wife at the time and then it ends up um you know is his lawyer in court they were all passing each other around right right in, in, in that. i think his name was robert it's, it's, was it robert kardashian robert kardashian yeah, yeah. so if you see he, he left that bitch didn't, the, didn't he divorce uh uh chris kardashian he did, he did. Yeah. that's when you when bruce came in you right. know, and, and took over the situation as the simp, the cleanup man. Simp, yeah. Um, so you if you look when Johnny Cochran hugs OJ when he's acquitted, Rob Kardashian just slumps away because he was done with the whole situation. Right. Basically, he was just babysitting OJ right. for the whole situation. But bottom line is, man, OJ lived a great life. They White people was never going to let that man live this down. I mean, in the American justice system, if you get found innocent, you're supposed to move on with your life. Right. They're not supposed to make up another crime for you to pay for a past crime. 
What type of shit is that? That's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. The man lived a great life, and you see these people showing you who they really are today. Some people weren't even born when this stuff is coming out, but they just have hatred in their eyes. They make the, Nicole Simpson to be this purity um, woman of this virginal existence. Cokehead, bitch. I'm going there. She was a coke. Sni- yeah. She was a coke sniffing whore yeah. with all of them. They was all in cahoots together. Well, let's say alleged whore. I don't know if she was uh, necessarily a whore, but you know, she was fucking around with with that young boy. He was twenty five. She was thirty five. So, so she was creeping up on, uh, you know, old oldness. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the fucking uh, the, the the blow. They were they were on that good shit back in them days. They they couldn't pay the bills. Yeah, on the good stuff. Couldn't pay the they tab. They couldn't pay the bills. Couldn't pay the tab. I mean, if you if, if people really knew what happened, they they'd be like, oh, that makes sense now. We'll leave it there. Couldn't pay the tab. You know. And, the Coke man came to collect. When the Coke man comes, you gotta hey, give up some, give up some, jewel, me- some jewelry. Give up some. The, me- <laughs> the Mexican necktie. That's all I got to say. The Mexican <laughs> necktie. I've been there, my nigga. The Coke man comes. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I got something. Hey, Poppy, I got man. a whole collection of fucking uh, uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers of fucking CDs and fucking albums. Take, take that shit. <laughs> Exactly. I got a whole Ze- uh, Led Zeppelin fucking uh, uh, a platinum plaque. Take that shit. I'll pay you in a couple of days. Go ahead. <laughs> that's, that's that's all, man. I, I thank you for having this show, man. <laughs> thank the you, man. Salute. Loose. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all real niggas. Okay, Dave, Dave, never mind the infancy gospel of Thomas, man. Let's get back to the, to the question. Is mm-hmm. Jesus a fictional character? What do you got, David? Yeah, so like I said, Jesus was a freedom fighter. He was a revolutionary. He was fighting for his people at the time that they were oppressed by an imperialistic regime, the Roman government. And he died as a result. And I believe that lady touched on something that we kind of brushed over when she mentioned George Floyd. So obviously the outrage that, that we all felt with, with his murder I think that when when Jesus was murdered, there was a, an outrage. And in order to c- calm the masses, to pacify them, they turn him into God. So if the state officials were seen worshiping this man, then of course the general, the, the population would, would fall in line. And then, so it was done to suppress a revolt. That's what I believe. So Jesus was a man, he died for his people, and there was an outrage, and the government officials, the only way they could suppress that revolt and that widespread anger was to turn him into a god. And this is when they went into their libraries, dug up all the fictional stories, Egyptian mythology, and posed it upon him to satisfy the masses. So I believe it was a, it was a concocted strategic plan to, to pacify a group of people at a particular time, which is, and not to touch on, even when we touched a little bit on Ethiopian orthodoxy. Well, and, hang on, can, can I jump in before you go there? Sure. I thought you were bringing some smoke tonight, man. I wanted you to lead this conversation. Don't let me, the non-believer, mm-hmm. be the aggressor here. I think the whole story of Jesus is cap. Mm. Cap. I'm respectful to those who are believers, as you know. I would never say, oh, you're stupid for believing that stuff. No, if you believe, you believe. But it's mm. a cat, my nigga. You know what? Apostle Paul, the closest link mm. to Jesus in the Bible. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Yes or no? If no, say no, sir. Well, he's the one that wrote the, the whole New Testament. Never and met the man. We mean him, Never met so. him in person. Met him in yeah. a dream, right? Yeah. And on the coincident- road to where? On the road to where? Damascus. Coincidentally, he was a murderer too. <laughs> he was a bounty killer. He was, he was beheaded. Yeah. Apostle Paul. He never yeah. met Jesus. He started preaching Christianity how many years after the death of Jesus? 40 years, wasn't it? Could be longer. All the gospels are written. It's about 40 years, years, David. David, It's about 40 years. Yeah, all the gospels are written 70 years after Jesus died. Never met the man. Didn't even meet him. Cap. 
And let me say this with regards to some of you so-called Negroes talking about Jesus was a black man. Jesus was a Jew. Jesus wouldn't fuck with you niggas if you didn't eat kosher. Right, Facts. David? Facts. Yeah. Wouldn't fuck with you. Malcolm X didn't fuck with niggas who chewed gum because gum had pork in it. Niggas claiming Malcolm X. Let me take a sip of water, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, just. I, I need a sip of water too. <laughs> Not then. Let's go, man. He's <laughs> a fictional character. I'm saying yes. The story let's is chat, man. It's folklore. The greatest let's story go. ever told, man. But, but go ahead, David. Go ahead, man. Hey, whether he ever walked the face of the earth or not, it's, it's the ultimate come up story. So yeah. I'll take it for that. It's the yeah. ultimate come up. Here's a man who was just a regular guy, a carpenter, a nobody. He was uh, in obscurity and he rose to the top. People loved and adored him. So at the very least, I just take it as an aspirational story. A man who was a nobody that, that rose to the top in status and notoriety and, and even had the Julius Caesar jealous and all the Roman officials jealous of a carpenter. So I take it as a story. I take the lessons out of it. How, how somebody who, a regular man, can, can rise to the top in the social hierarchy. Well, well he, he didn't get to live to see anything. He was... He was beaten, beaten to death. He didn't reap the benefits of anything. If, if he lived, he may have lived, but I just, again, I don't believe the whole thing. But um, um, uh, how many wars? How many millions of people have been killed in the name of Christianity? Uh, the the Crusades. Yeah. Right. All the bloodshed because of a righteous man. That's why it's sickening. The whole thing sickens me. That's why I still believe he existed. I really do. And that's why the irony, it, it, it's its disgusting. You know, people, like when I said earlier that they cast their sins uh, on a man who was a victim of brutality. Yeah, I use the word police brutality because I'm addressing law enforcement because it resonates, you know? Yeah. What they, I, I they think that, that was a little kind of crazy if you to try and um, equate niggas getting killed and shot in America to Jesus. That was, that was a little crazy, but I... I'll let you get it off once. I'm trying to slip that, yeah. Put that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back for a second. Uh, before right. we finish up, because don't man, I'm waiting on you. Let's go back for a second. How many millions of people have died? The Crusades. Peace to Saladin. You heard mm -hmm. of Saladin? No, don't know who that is. Saladin. The Great Crusades. Mm -mm. Hang on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Send you, send you another email here. Oh, so guys, we we talk. I'm, I'm ready, Debbie. I'm ready, goddamn. <laughs> Great Crusades. Richard the Lionheart. So on and so forth. Um, hang on a sec. Um. Gel, I got you to. Are you tapping in, Gel? Sit tight for a second, David. I want, to, I want you to sure. finish up. I want you to finish okay. up with the gel. Uh, where is area code 760? We're having a few discussions. Uh, we're kind of all over the place. Are you there? Good evening, 760. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I'm here. I'm here, Star. How are you, sir? Oh, man, beautiful to talk to you, brother. Peace, well, brother. not my brother. No, no, but... it's, it's a black show tonight. Peace, brother. Let's, let's go, brother. Scratch it. Let's go, brother. <laughs> Well, I'm on in the opposition of you, man. I believe that Jesus was a historical guy. Break it down. Break it down. Tell me I'm wrong, goddamn. And prove it. Well, when a, well, when you're talking about historical people, you know, Pontius Pilate wrote the letter to uh, Tiberius. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he described Jesus and all the things that transpired at the time. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, People believe him to be a historical figure. And also, i like to say <clears throat> that people are mixing in Christianity to be associated with Jesus. And it's not. Uh, was, Jesus wouldn't have known what a Christian was. You're, you're right. Jesus was a Jew, sir. I've already put that on the table. But you cannot remove him from Christianity. He, he is the focal 
center, the focal figure of Christianity, and people aspire to live in a Christ-like manner. That's what Christianity is in, in, a, in a nutshell. Yes? Oh, sort of. Now, another question I'd like to ask you, when you say Jew, are you refer referencing Jew as in Jewish or Jew as in Judean? Well, Those so, are two so, different so, things. So we're not even having that discussion. David is right there if you want to go there. I mean, but we can take it back to the tribes, to, to the true followers, you know, I mean, or the God's chosen. But I'm a non-believer, so I try to be respectful. But let's focus on Jesus. He said you can prove he was not a fictional character. Go ahead. Oh, well, I, I didn't say that I could prove it. I just oh. said that I don't think that he was a fictional character because there are quote-unquote historical people that actually lived and they speak about him right like pontius pilate for instance he wrote the letter to tiberius caesar explaining all that took place with jesus and he himself basically came to the conclusion that jesus was this incredible guy Now, I know what you're talking about, but now, um, again, he a man may have walked the earth, you know, but uh, do you think he was the son of God and he had powers uh, for, for to to yes. to, to turn uh, uh, water into wine and and buckets of fish? I mean, I know the stories. Sir. I know the story. Yes, I, I think that, and uh, you know, um, some things are just unexplainable. It's like trying to explain our three-dimensional world to a, 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 a creature or an entity from a two-dimensional or one-dimensional world okay right or it's like us in our three-dimensional world trying to imagine what things would be like in a fourth dimensional world but that doesn't mean that the fourth dimension doesn't exist because we really can't comprehend well, well, it. hang on a second so now you're trying to go into science when you're talking about different dimensions and you know at this point in time our minds are not even able to really uh, conceive that so that's another conversation okay but well i say let, that let, in let, i'm sorry go ahead no, let's go back to jesus you say he was not a fictional character um i'm gonna give well, you I was the, make... the time to finish up i'm saying it's cap it's bullshit but you know i want to be respectful go ahead right and I'm, I'm listing things that would support why I say what I say. And I list and I said those things about the dimension in reference to earlier when you guys were saying, you know, speaking upon the miracles, the turning water into wine and so on and so forth. These things could be considered miracles. The immaculate conception could be considered miracles or things that are outside of our understanding just like other dimensions are kind of outside of our understanding, but that okay. doesn't negate that it's okay. real. Okay. I'm listening, sir. You have the floor. Right. So that, that's my point on the uh, existence of Jesus and uh, speaking on OJ. No, no, hang on a second, because I, I want David to chime in. David, uh, you're quarterback in this discussion is jesus a fictional character dope man i see you in the back sit tight dope man you're up next Go ahead, so do you, do you think that perhaps the man jesus that he studied the occult to learn about stuff or was he divine now we're talking i think that he was was the guy you know i think the occult and things of that nature were around long before jesus just like the prophecy of jesus is coming was around yeah. long before any of the occults. Do you believe that the three wise men followed an Eastern star to find the baby Jesus? Or did they use astrology to, to know that a special child was born? You think it was a, no, astrology? I think that, I think that it, it's like the Bible says that, the, mm -hmm. that they were aware of the prophecy. And then okay. when King Herod put out the decree to... to uh, to have the, the male children slaughtered, I think that they recognize the prophecy in that. So the word, so prophecy yeah. would mean would mean that it was written in the stars. So who read the stars to know that he was born? If we use well, the word, I prophecy, you know, I, I I'd like to hear your uh, 
reasoning on why you think prophecy means it was written in the stars because uh, most of the prophets didn't get their information from the stars. They got them through visions or dreams. But they saw the future, and that's the thing. So the future foretelling, they knew that a special child was going to be born. So how are they able, I'm talking about science now, astrology, utilizing these things, because it, the Bible says it was three kings, but the it used to be three wise men. So they change it from wise men to kings. Once again, another tactic to throw us off because the wise men were the ones that knew about uh, things of a uh, occult nature. So that, that those were the wise men, but they dumbed the language down to, to that way we don't get the clue to distract us that these people, they knew uh, a hidden science, if you will. And they used that science to locate, to know that a special child was going to be born. So it went from wise men to just three kings that followed the star. But it was if three. I, if I can jump in, David, I want, well, the, I want this man to finish up. He's standing firm in his belief. I respect that. Sir, you, you, well, you um, finish well, up, Ken. Last thing I'll say, I, I'm really not sure about what my man is just speaking on, but the three wise men were sent on their journey by King Herod. They didn't go of their own accord. They were sent. Okay. So I thank you for the call. And, and um, anything you want to say about OJ? He's gone. Not forgotten. Before you go, Mr. C. Uh, I just like to say, you know, rest in peace to the Jews. You know, uh, yes. I, I'm one of the gentlemen that, that uh, I, I side with the view of the courts. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the, he was acquitted in the courts. Yeah. Move on. And uh, Move on. we'll just leave it. Let the facts lie where they lie. Thank you for your call, man. Thank you. Thank you. My man. Appreciate it. My man. Okay. Okay. Um, David, I'm going to finish up with you and bring in Dope Man. All right. Uh, David, don't forget to promote your book. And, oh, I'm sorry. David, hold it. We've been having such a good discussion here. Where is your information for my um, showrunner? Hold on a second. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm promoting uh, you and your book. And guys, there is David's YouTube channel. Pardon me, David, for not putting that on. But guys, you can go into my community section and, and pick up a copy of David's new book. It's called. Can Angel. I drop a? Sorry. Can I can I drop a couple jewels real quick, Star? Please, yes, come on. Okay, I just want to drop a couple gems for those who are listening. The sinner is the sunner, so it's the sun because you started at the center. So you start at the center. And that's why you're and the, the center is the it's once again, the solar system, a reference to the sun. And that relates to the heart chakra. And the word heart is an anagram for earth. So when you're born as a sinner, you're born in the center. So that would be the heart of the creator, which is earth. So once again, all these things, when you when you break down the language, you break down the etymology Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Lion refers to the Leo constellation. Leo constellation is associated with the sun. This is all a sun worship. It's all a sun cult, and it was put on him. So you're, you're not a sinner. You're a sunner because you started at the center, solar system, sun worship. Okay, okay. Can, can I drop a, a gem on you since we're dropping gems? Oh, yeah. Iron sharpeneth iron. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus was a killer, according to the infancy gospel of Thomas, and a fucking narcissist worthy of death. <laughs> <laughs> and the story is cap. <laughs> good to see you, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, Jesus was worthy of death, folks. <laughs> I'm on one tonight. Well, oh, there's my nigga, pow, dope oh. man. Call me off guard, man. I know you're gonna pop me in like that. Big nigga, big nigga. Hey, man, I, I see you got your weight up. You're doing what you do. <clears throat> yeah, man, I don't wanna interrupt the show, star man. Nigga, you are the show, nigga, let's go. Look, now here's where the show is at. Can they see that? Yeah, that, that's that's your, your page, Tom Young LaChon. I'm, I'm about to put you up on the screen, big nigga. Thank let's you, go. sir. Thank you, sir. Good to Listen, see you, man. man. I got, listen, I know, but here's the thing. So I want to ask you something, though. This is okay. some real talk. 
I'm, I'm looking for your information whilst you're talking, so bear with me so I can put that on the screen. Well, since you're looking for the information, I'm letting them know, man, y'all need to go to the channel, check it out, not just for, you know, this ain't a commercial, man. This is the real game. You know what I mean? I'm over here in Asia with them Asians, the persuasions, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm running through them like OJ, no kill, no kill, though. It's just running through them. You know what I'm talking about? Tackling them and some more shit. Doing the blocks and what kind of them drills. I'm running drills on them. You know what I'm talking about? But it's all good because they loving it, man. They want more of it, man. So, you know, I can only do so much. So I need y'all to come on over and hang out, man. It's right. daytime. Look, man, we over in the we ahead of time over here, man. You know what I'm saying? We got this, we got this. Y'all talking about sun gods. He over here right now popping his thing. Right, you right, right. About, you know, but uh on the real deal, this is how we do it, man. You know, it's just a mission, man. I'm over here chilling. D -d dope, dope, man. I need you to come a little closer so we can hear you. Now, hold on a second. I got you on the screen. YouTube.com forward slash at Tom Yumla Chong. Everything spelled right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's okay, it. and for that's those it. who don't know, you are one of the um originators, man, of this whole social media content yeah. creating. You, 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 you and the homie Q, RIP from World yeah. Star. Yeah, yeah, uh, man, yeah. you put it down, hood box office, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, and, yeah, and so many other things, man. Uh, yeah, 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 the list goes on, man. Classic yeah. videos, go ahead. Yeah, the list goes on, man. But you know, I'm over here on this new thing, man. You know, uh, people can, if they want to, on YouTube, search uh, hood box office, and uh, you know, so I'm the one through the key in the, in the trunk of Fresh Montana's car and all that. Right, you man. know, we ain't talking about the door key, you know, we'll figure that out later, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But uh, you know, they doing what I was doing before, but we ain't into that. We on this time you know, on the Hey, come here. Come here. We on this time you know, change. Is that baby but girl? now start this is what I want to ask you though. This is come personal on. start. I don't I, I I don't I I gotta know now. I don't have to know this. Well, well, but... Stay on stay on topic, man. We gotta stay on topic, Mr. C OJ. You and I can always no we on no we on topic. We on topic. We on topic. Come on. Now I want to know this from you. Are you as certain? That there is no God now, as you as certain as you were certain it was one. You understand what I'm talking about? At one point, you were certain it was one, right? At one point, I was strong in the faith, but now but you were certain, but you weren't certain. No, no, I was strong in the faith, and I was okay. consumed by the theory. Now, let me just say this: the non-believer can no more prove the uh, uh, the the non-existence of a God as the believer cannot prove the existence of a God. So we agree to disagree for those who are respectful with regards to the discussion. Okay, so where you at now is you certain there is no God, right? I do not subscribe to the theory, to be precise. <laughs> That's how you word it. Yeah. But, but now okay. I, 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 am, I, am, I am dying to know, literally. <laughs> I'm dying to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I understand why. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you you on both ends of the deal. You see what I'm trying to say? So I can understand why you would really, really, you want to, and that's why my stop, I book BS you not, man. I was just in Chat GTP asking Chat GTP about the fact if, because I know the Bible hangs so much on Jesus' name. So I'm saying that everything is praying in Jesus' name. I said, well, his real name was Joshua. So is that cutting it off like when you say jesus and i was like if he was walking down the street and i called jesus would he even respond and chad gtp was arguing with me about it but you know it was just a curious question because i know a lot of stuff you're supposed to perform in jesus name you're supposed to do works and greater works than he did but yet I've seen people try to put it to the test. I mean, I don't know, man. Well, hang on a I'm second, dope, dope man, because I want to pull this back around, and I want you to introduce baby girl who's behind you. She, she's your rider. Um, do you, sir, believe that Jesus was a fictional character? That's the question. No, that's the easy answer for me, no. And and the reason why is because uh, some of the teachers and stuff that I I go by some of the teachings, and it's worked for me. Okay. So I, I assume... That if it worked for me over and over, I'm talking about technically, physically, spiritually, whatever. Mm -hmm. I put some of that stuff to the test and I made it make sense to me. Salute. Salute. If it so, works for you and you believe, salute. 
So that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Nigga getting the money. You know, I, I somebody had to protect me when I was in the dope house. You know what I'm talking about? Now that's a joke, but I'm just saying. I know. Still I, yet, I, know. I put it in text. Dog, listen, I'll give you a quick example. I was in the uh well, I ain't gonna put all that out there, but I've been in situations where later I seen where I do and what's got me really believing in it is the whole thing about God's will. So my thing is everything that happens, because I know I know people that have experienced things and they felt like, oh man, there ain't no God because of this or that, right? So the way I got around that is I put it all on God's will. Because I remember Jesus prayed that it was, you know, that he didn't want to get crucified. And it came back to not my will, but thy will be done. So I came. I was like, well, okay, now, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. You just said you just said he didn't want to get crucified. He willingly allowed himself to be killed. No, if no. What I'm saying is, what was that prayer? What was that prayer he made? I'm okay. responding. I'm responding. Okay. 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 As the story goes, he willingly allowed himself to be uh, uh, killed to die for your sins. As the story goes, right? Right, right. I mean, that's no. What I'm well, okay. Can I finish? He that? wasn't afraid. Want, he wasn't afraid. afraid. The, the thorns wrapped around his all. head. Okay, he wasn't scared. So, but now, hang on a second, man. I, introduce uh, uh, y your female friend behind you, man. She's been waiting patiently. Her and Amy email each other back and forth. Just bring her in for a second, then we'll come back to the to the discussion. <laughs> hey, sugar. Her. Hey, Star, how are you? C come closer to the camera. Hello. Oh. How are you doing? Good, good, good. You, you are a dope man's right hand. You handle uh, everything at Tom Yum LaChan social media wise, yes? Yeah, um, the one who do interview with the girls and lady boy working in a bar. Right. And then... We're having a little trouble hearing you, a little trouble hearing you. Dope man, can you turn the mic up or something? I said that I'm of girls and lady boy that working in a bar and freelancer meeting guys and outside the, the, okay. the okay. bar. So we want people to go to your platform, subscribe, watch Dope Man Live as he puts it down oh so well. What else uh, do we need to promote, uh, Dope Man? Because we're in a, a, a big time difference. What do we need to promote, darling? No, nah, we, we done on the promotion side, okay. man. It was, okay. it was good talking to you. You know, we ain't never had no conversations like that, man. We always talk. But you know they saying? A pimp and a preacher come in the same skin. So, you know what I'm saying? I can understand you might want to be a preacher one time, but you chose to be a pimp. But it's all good. Well, now, hang on. Now, uh, are you using the word P tonight? Because that's how No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's practitioner, man. You know okay. what we're talking about, man? <laughs> we're going to stay away from that word, man. But, yeah, salute to OJ. Salute the star, man, and uh, I appreciate the time. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Um, please do me a favor, guys. In my community section, we have your banner there. Can you leave a comment under your banner with a um a link telling people to go to your platform so that we can pin it to the top? Yeah, I can most definitely do this because I'm over here smashing these niggas' girls and putting them on camera. I'm running through the past poor bros exposing the game. So if you mm. really want to see the game, what's really going on over here, go to that channel, man, church. Good to talk to you, man. Salute, dope man. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's my nigga from way back. Dope man. Okay. Guys, we are continuing the conversation. To hell with a goddamn break. Sit tight on the phones. Want to make sure I'm promoting my sponsors because it's always business over bullshit. Uh, on the screen right now, www.gurubusinesscenter.com. Also in my community section, there's a link where you can reach out and talk to uh Alicia, she's really good at helping you set up businesses, uh, tax advice, all sorts of things. If you want to start a charity or an LLC, please tell her I sent you, okay? Jell, are you on the line? Uh, I don't see 770, uh, but thank you for your support, okay? Um, Blade, thank you, Blade. Blade says, oh, they big mad. Mm, okay, thank you, Blade. Um... Okay, I spoke to that person. Frank White, I got your donation. Thank you, man. Salute the hater. R.I.P. The juice. Uh, and Frank also says O.J. was not into uh, Columbia neckties. 
<laughs> Craig, I got your donation. Uh, uh, oh, Craig says, so I guess Fat Joe is going to tell his fake OJ story. <laughs> thank you, Craig. John Flowers, thank you for tapping in. Uh, yeah, call in. Call in, uh, John Flowers. Promote your uh, your platform, man, if you like. Uh, it's a black show tonight. Bliggity black show. Tyra, I got your other donation. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, Bruce Jenner. I don't play that little Caitlyn uh, uh, story. What year did he win the decathlon? Was that 1972? Hold on a second. Talking slick about OJ. Bruce Jenner. Decathlon. He's jealous because um, uh, he wasn't as big as OJ back in the days. Yeah, he was on the cover of Wheaties. I know. Born William Bruce Jenner. This old weirdo ass nigga. What year did he win that decathlon career? Yeah, okay, 1972 U.S. Olympic trials. Fuck out of here. Talking about good riddance. Um, let me go to area code 631. Thank you for being patient. Good evening. We're having a, an off the rail show. Are you there? 631. Yes, no, maybe. Good evening, Star. Hey, hey, how are you? Uh, very happy to talk to you. Thank you for chiming in. Where do you want to start? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, you know, rest in peace to uh, Juice. Um, uh, I know a lot of folks were upset with the verdict, but a lot of uh, black folks were very, very, very pleased with the verdict. Yeah. I was. Um, I was. Also, I was. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> I was rest in peace. I, I screamed like a like a little boy at a Wham concert. You ever heard of Wham? <laughs> of course, I remember. I, I Wake me up before you go, please. go. I'm not planning on go. Ah! <laughs> go ahead. I'm on one tonight. Go ahead. <laughs> I I hear you. <laughs> All to the to the the, the previous comment about if Jesus was a fictional uh, person or not. I mean, I think there was a person named uh, Yeshua, but no ever, uh, anyone ever heard of the name Jesus. Okay, well, come on. Come on, you can talk your talk. I'm here. And, you know, also, too, the Bible wasn't written until the Council of Nicaea was formed. And that was for almost 500 years after the fact. So... All these people who want to quote Bible verses, I mean, it's all fiction. The greatest story ever told. Or or untold. <laughs> and it was real interesting, okay. you know, what, you know, what books were left in and what books, mm -hmm. you know, were, were edited out. Yeah, yeah you have so. the floor. Yeah, you know, I mean, I heard a lot of the comments from, you know, uh, some of the other folks there. And um, I don't want to say. Well, well, so, so never mind other callers. I want to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Okay, the, the, the you question, got me. The question, is Jesus a fictional character? I'm, I'm being respectful. Never mind my non-belief. I used to be strong in the faith. Uh, you know, just never mind me. What do you say? Uh, my personal belief is that I think that there was a person named, you know, Yeshua, you know, maybe a, you know, transformed in, into Jesus somewhere, you know, down the millennia. Um, but um, it's really interesting that there's a, an author, uh, uh, Billy Carson, who's also uh, a YouTuber as well, who really delved into this issue. Sir, I want to hear from you. I have no problem promoting other channels but tell us what you think never mind what someone else said was somebody else's book what do you think was jesus a fictional character i believe there, there possibly was a person you know by that name um more so often that my personal belief is i i i think we're all descendants from from people not of this world i'm listening um i i think <laughs> uh we were bought here you know 
not uh, uh, of our, our own design. And I, I definitely believe in, you know, the higher power that, that we are praying to, you know, hmm. some folks might call aliens. I'm listening. Tell us about um, tell us about the omnipotent power. Is is it is it uh, is it um, human like? Is it animal like? Is is it uh, um, you know a revengeful force? Give us more detail. I no, I, I don't I don't believe in you know the the the, the vengeful uh, uh, force. I I I think. You know that there there are powers or are entities that you know that brought us here uh, for this what we call human experience and, and you know this is Earth school. I'm listening. And the human you know, experience. Yeah. 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 Vain, vile vicious murderous creatures yes i i think at our base yeah but also you know we're, we're capable of other things too okay you know we're we're also capable sexual deviance <laughs> yeah but i mean that's just one side of the coin i, I mean the other side of the coin you know they're all positive things. There's love, <laughs> empathy, compassion. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Come on now. You ain't got to go that dark now. Come on. I'm listening to you. We're having a good discussion. Please continue. Yeah, I, I've been waiting for this conversation. Come on. Um, you sound like you were born a Jew, but you're not a practicing Jew. Would I be correct? Absolutely not. No. No, Go ahead. Go I, ahead. I'm a brother. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Yeah. No. No, no, uh, no Jewish blood whatsoever. When you say you're, you're a brother, from what tribe did you descend? Mm, the, the people Yardi, you know. Say again? The people Yardis. It's all about tribes, right? I mean, going back for thousands of years. I mean, race is a social construct. It's all about tribes. Do you yeah. know? Do you know what tribe you come from? Um, I, I guess I, I I would be considered like the UN. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I guess uh, there's a little bit of everything flowing in my veins. Oh, come on, be specific. You sound like a man who has traced your bloodline of sorts. I have. I've, I've got Neapolitan on one side uh, and, and, and mm -hmm. foundational black American on the other. However, however, I, I've got some Algerian blood mixed in there, you know, because they did go into um, Naples once upon a time, right? Oh, yeah, Uncle Hannibal. Well, you know, you tell me. I'm a dropout. You tell me. Well, me, uh, um, I guess I would identify as like Afro Caribbean. Wow. There is no such thing, but go ahead. <laughs> Afro Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> well, when well look, when the slave ship came and, and dropped my <laughs> dropped my people over. This nigga smoking sherm stick. Give him a second. Afro Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I got time. I got time. <laughs> Come on, Star. It's like, look, we all can't can identify where we came from. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. With with a hundred percent certainty. Well, if you if you trace your lineage, and then there is technology, um, you know, by today's standards, that can pretty much pinpoint what region you came from. A lot of people don't want to know. A lot of people have. Uh, uh, lie to themselves, to their family members, and they've professed to be something that they're not, right? Mm -hmm. So, so it's well, it's more to their advantage to lie and to claim that they are of, um, um, you know, better breeding, if you will. But in reality, they're from a Neanderthal. You know, it could be from a Neanderthal fucking tribe or some type of slave traders. But yet, and still, they mm -hmm. they, they they preach. Um, you know, black salvation, when in reality they are the, the biggest 
um, um, poverty pimps known to mankind. You said you've been waiting for this conversation. I'm giving you the floor. Go ahead. Well, I mean, I can trace back with certainty, you know, back to four generations to Jamaica. After that, it's anyone's guess. Slavery was brutal in Jamaica, yes? Oh, very brutal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the colonizers were, were not kind. Um, kind of wish I, I, I may have had like the, uh, the Spanish or the Portuguese version of, of colonization. Uh, they, they were slightly less brutal. Mm -hmm. Jamaicans are great people. They've been good to me. And I, I probably will visit Jamaica before I check out. However, they are the, the ones who practiced and enforced Derby's dose. You know of Derby's dose. You're Jamaican, yes? You know of it. You probably just don't want to admit to it. Oh, absolutely. Tell the audience who doesn't know what Derby's dose was in Jamaica. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> That's a long, long, long story. And I don't think no, we've no, got no, time no, for no, that. no, it's not. No, it's not. You said you've been waiting for this conversation. I'm just, you know, we're just, we're talking. What was Derby's dose in Jamaica? If you forgot, Google it. I'll wait on you. Wait on you. Oh, you're going to wait on me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I, I want to get the, the most accurate. Okay. And what's your name again, sir? Uh, Danny. Danny. Troll babies, give Danny a second. He said he's been waiting on this conversation. The man sends uh, in a donation, a nice donation. Let's give him the time. Oh, uh, let's see. give him a second. <laughs> Do you want me to Google mm -hmm. it, sir? You want me to Google it? Yeah, I'm getting this thing uh, um, uh, with. Uh, it pops right up, sir. <laughs> Why the fuck does a 59-year-old man beat you young niggas to Googling shit? It's right there. Derby's Dose. <laughs> D is in David. E-R-B-Y-S. Dose. D-O-S. It's right there, sir. It's right fucking there. <laughs> okay. Well, we, got, we got a Jamaican in denial. Hang on a second, sir. You find it and read it, goddamn. I, I, somebody just text me. That's my... I, I, well, I, I'm just laughing uh, at you because I, I'm glad you called me a young man when I'm the same age as you. <laughs> okay, well, well, then if you're the same age as me, you, uh, you should know. Derby's dose, and you're Jamaican. <laughs> well, Jamaica hey, uh, Gene Richmond, sorry I didn't see your call. Uh, number nine, are you there? Number nine. Hey, hi. It's cracking, man. Good to hear from you. Hey, hey, Danny. Hey. How are you? <laughs> doing well, doing well. You, you've got such a, a strong and vigorous voice with such fervor. I just want to call and say, I just want to call and say hello. Can I call you Dan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Or oh, is it just Danny? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I'm like, why, why no, am I feeling like... No. Number nine, fishing for boy, cunt. Now, hang on a second. Number nine, hold, hold on, hold on. Danny, before you go, did you find Derby's dose? That was brutal, man, in Jamaica. Shit. Yeah. Look, I, I, in all fairness, I, I, I'm a Jamaican. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, so so you're really yeah. you're really a Jamaican. And uh, number nine, back to you. You wanted to call in. You said you like Danny's voice. That's what you said on my phone, right? You said tell Danny. Yeah. Hey. Come on. Is, it, is, it, is it? Can I call you Dan or? Do they just call you Danny? Do we? Is there a special uh, connection to be called Danny, or, or is it Daniel? Shit, uh, it's all of the above. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Danny, did I make you blush? I just make you blush right now. Um, maybe <laughs> raise my you eyebrows, stop? but oh, 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 oh. It's, it's, I just—you're so jovial, you know. You 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 giggle and. All right, guys, listen, I, I got to get back to the show. Danny, great to talk to you. Number nine, stay there. Stay there, number nine. Danny, good to talk to you, man. Uh, did I give you the last word? Um, 
people with regards to the topics, O.J. Simpson, Mr. C, or um, uh, 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 Jesus. Danny, go ahead and finish up, please. Yeah, I, I, we kind of covered all those bases. Okay. Okay. Good to talk to you, man. Thank you, Danny. Same here. Same here. Be well. Okay, be well. Number nine, good to hear from you. Bye, man. Danny. <laughs> Bye, Danny. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Number nine, good to talk to you, man. What's cracking? We were having a discussion tonight. It's I'm a, I'm warning you, it's a black show tonight. Um, you want to chime in? Uh, OJ Simpson is, is, is gone. <laughs> Mr. C is gone. Is it a black show? It's a black show. Is it a black show or, or a nigger show? E, e, or a little bit of both. E, either or. I'm on real nigger time tonight. What's cracking, Haitian? Where the fuck you want to go? What's cracking? <laughs> oh, what's cracking? Crack, half a nigger? Let's go. What's cracking? Let's go. <laughs> what's cracking, half a nigger? Well, I just wanted to. I wanted to eulogize O.J. Simpson. Please. please. Um, I, I think I think O.J. was a a victim mm -hmm. of the times. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a, he was a scapegoat. I met O.J. once upon a time many years ago in Hartford, Connecticut. I think you told um, me that. You told me that. Yeah. Yeah. Shook his shook his hand. Very strong. Yeah. Very strong man. But uh, I think he was a victim of the times. I think he was persecuted and you know went into prison and. And served about almost nine years. Yeah. And came home and, and he I think I think he paid the debt to society. And he came home in his last couple of years, he made his appearances, he right. he'd he'd uh, he'd he'd do his vlogs and you see him here and there. Right. But I think uh I think OJ Simpson, regardless of the scandal before that, was a national treasure. He did the Hertz commercials, mm -hmm. he was in movies, he was in movies like Naked Gun, he was uh he was a big top celebrity. Uh, Heisman Trophy winner, and I think OJ, uh, obviously the murder trial uh, marred all that, but I think he he yeah. he was a national treasure, and still is. I'm the great OJ Simpson. Yeah, yeah. Continue. I, I wanted to pull up something with regards to his film career. Um, he, he was in some some really popular films as well. For those who don't know, so he had a lengthy career. He was also in Monday Night Football. Uh, as a commentator and, and once again salute to killer cam cameron uh, and uh mace because they brought him on 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 their show to be a commentator salute to them um well yeah go ahead well yeah he he had again people forget the 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 trial kind of kind of mirrored everything you know and and everybody who knows him of today you know the children or people who weren't born before 1994 don't know the 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 celebrity that he had he was he was he was a athlete turned hollywood celebrity before that was a thing yeah. now you have a lot of athletes who are who are in the limelight like your you know your russell Wilsons or your tom brady's and people of that nature mm -hmm. who make a transition you know or travis kelsey or so on and so forth but he was that he was that standout in yeah. the 1970s in the 1980s and the early 1990s. I'm going to go back to the 60s. Hang on a second, number nine. Um, he was on Ironside back in 1968. He was on Dragnet in 1968, Medical Center in 69. Um, here's Lucy in 1973. Uh, the, Tower, the Towering Inferno, uh, the, the classic film in 1974. Um, he was in Roots in 77. Um, a film that I've always liked, Capricorn One, that came out in 1978. He was in that film and other movies as well. So he had a lengthy career. He wasn't just a football player. Um, wh where were you when the verdict came down uh, and he was found not guilty? Do you remember? I, I remember exactly where I was. It was 1995. I was in the eighth grade in Clunan Middle School in Stanford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. We were in we were in music class, and I never forget it. The very uh, the very colorful music teacher stopped the class and got on the intercom, and they played it. It came on ABC. Uh, they interrupted it for a special uh, 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 scheduled uh, broadcast, mm -hmm. and they played the verdict, which were, which was playing all over the United States. And you know, we I remember being an eighth grader and sitting there, <laughs> and they played the OJ verdict and. I remember this this music teacher was upset. Yeah. And yeah. you know all the other kids were just like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> Can we get back to music <laughs> class now?" But it it just it just shows you how polarizing even back then, right. you know, that ver that verdict was because 
he, the United States of America literally stood still right. to listen to that verdict. I mean, it was, it, you know, no social media at the time. Obviously, the Internet was in its infancy, but people stood still to really to really project what they thought about that verdict. Yeah. Uh, let me jump up for a second. Um, he was in uh, the Naked Gun uh, film as well. Um, uh, he, he wasn't in Airplane. I think I may have made a mistake and said Airplane. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was in some some really uh, funny films and some serious. He had some serious roles as well. Um, can I get you to touch on the showrunner or, you know, Mr. C, of course, R.I.P. Not sure if you ever met him. Can I get you to touch on the showrunner? Is Jesus a fictional character? Number nine. Actually, I don't think Jesus is a fictional character at all. Okay. Um, if, you, if you look at the, the time of the Roman Empire, um, there was about, about 35 to 40 million Romans in that empire, and Jesus lived in the time of the, the height of the, the Roman Empire in itself. And in that time, there were about, I'd say, three to four million Jews, uh, and uh, Jesus being one of them, and he lived in the first century common area. So, you know, people wonder, well, how could we actually know if this man was existed? Uh, it's simple. You have the synoptic, synoptic Gospels and you had uh, the stories of him that were told through travels, which would later be formed through the Gospels of Matt, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, which would come 40 years after his death. Bingo. Um, so these accounts were, were around and, and also the Synoptic Gospels were not just the only accounts of Jesus. If, if you go back to the Jewish scribe Josephus, who would translate the uh, Jewish war to the Romans, wrote in links about the, uh, the works and the teachings of uh, Jesus himself. So they, and then you had uh, what they call the Gnostic teachings, which you had the uh, Gospels that did not make their way in Emperor Constantine's revisions of the Bible, such as the Gospels of uh, Mary Magdalene, the Gospels of Truth, and the Gospels of Thomas, which spoke in depth of these works and travels of Jesus at the time. So uh, there was nothing essentially contemporary, but there were records that, were, that would go on uh, through time, through uh, ancient scholars, ancient philosophy, which would account uh, the many works of Jesus himself. Very well said. And you see, I like when you get focused, man. I like when you get focused and we can have that, that really good discussion. Okay, so with all of that being said, do you believe in the resurrection? Do you believe that he's coming back? Well, it, it's, it's unique because the resurrection has always been very polarizing. There's two ways to look at the resurrection. If you look at well, well, uh, the apocalypse. Hang, hang on, do you believe he will return? start there i don't believe in a physical return okay. i believe in a resurrection of uh, theological and philosophical elements okay. such as the teachings um such as the works of goodwill such as understanding that uh, spiritual presence and or uh, the ideas of of heaven and and spiritual heft and things of that nature resides within consciousness which would then create a metaphysical understanding within the inner being i think it's a resurrection resurrection of thoughts ideas philosophy elements so i don't think there'll be a physical return but i think there is a constant form of resurrection through teachings through writings and through philosophy okay um yeah. I'm going to let you finish up uh, because I, I like when you get focused, man. You you know this. I tell you this behind the scenes all the time. <laughs> right, right, um, right. Um, okay, so um, I can respect someone who believes what they believe. Don't follow my lead. So so we'll we'll, we'll get past the immaculate conception. Well, well, never mind that. It's a very common story. You know that already. Um, do you think his life was fictionalized? Did they? falsify and elaborate on things to make him bigger than what he really was was he just a common man he died at a very early age um do you think that his, his life was made out to be something that has then become the, the the biggest story if you will and people have it misconstrued and people just don't care about the details 
Well, yeah, I do think that the story of his life has been uh, revised. There's been uh, things, revisions, uh, elements that have been taken out or even added in. Because, again, if we go back to the Synoptic Gospels, um, you had the first two Gospels, which were Matthew and Mark, that really uh, spoke about the, the teachings of uh, Jesus. His teachings, his uh, many uh, uh, travels and things of that nature, and sermons like Sermon on the Mountain. Now, if you flash forward 40 to 60 years later, by the time you get to John's Gospel, now they're speaking of Jesus as a almost deity, uh, godlike. And they use terms like, uh, I and the Father are one. Uh, before Abra- Abraham, I was. Uh, when you see the Father, you see me. So that, so what happened between that 40 and 60 year mark where he became, where he was just a, a almost a spiritual teacher, and now he's become divine part of the Trinity. So yes, I believe uh, things have been added or removed to make to make the framework right. of the New Testament right. Paul's resurrection right. theory right. Right. To be, make it more plausible. Stop right there. Stop right there. Folks, this is my friend Gene Richmond, a.k.a. number nine. And when he gets focused, I like when he gets focused. Hey, man, let's you and I talk behind the scenes. Thank you for tapping in. And, and as I've always asked you, or for, for those who don't know, when are you going to admit to being a Jew? You're going to admit to that. Well, I, you, know, you know what? <laughs> I am uh, a penny pinch. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I, 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 don't, don't, don't take okay. it into a, 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 a silly direction. Yeah, what okay. do you got, you know? Okay. Well, I be, well, you know, I think I, I do have the, the the Jewish ideology. You know, I I yeah. believe in the teachings of a man who walked the earth two thousand years ago. Right. He was very Jewish. Yeah. You know, his br- his brother James, who passed on the stories to Paul, was very Jewish. And Jesus did have a brother. His name was James. Uh, and and there's also teachings that he had a sister. You know, so I, I you know I believe in these things. I think I, you know I, I fall in line. I, I know Jewish you do. Idea. I know you do, and I respect your belief. Number nine, good to talk to you, man. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Who I like when he gets focused, huh? Jane Richmond, aka number nine. Um, Emmanuel, I got your donation. Are you on the line, sir? Hold on a second. Let me see if I can get you in the queue. Three one four, sit tight. You will be up next. Three one four, sit tight. Rest in peace to a great human being, Mr. C. Calvin LeBrun, for those who don't know his his government name, born in 1966, okay? Uh, Credited with discovery of both uh, Big Daddy Kane and Notorious B.I.G. And never really, you know, pushed the envelope for wanting the recognition. He was just a very giving person. And I, I, again, I couldn't do a show yesterday because I would have gotten emotional. He he was that type of person who was just genuine. In the music industry where most people, most people are vanity-driven, selfish, deviants, you know, people who slither around. He shined. He shined. And he would always have time to discuss the music. It was about the music for him. It was about the culture. And I'll use the word culture. Um, Very approachable. But at the same time, he was from Brooklyn. He, he, could, he could push a button on you. But that wasn't his way. Uh, many people, I'm sure, up in the uh, radio stations in New York um, are feeling the impact. You know, as I said, I've been texting with a few people from, you know, up in New York, uh, uh, some of my old co-workers, and, and they're, they're, they're broken up, you know, just a couple, maybe three people. So um, it's hitting us hard because, again, within the the realm of people that are deviants, vanity-driven, Selfish, self-absorbed, uh, uh, um, backstabbing, if you will. He wasn't known for any of those things. And yes, you can make fun of what he came out and admitted to, but he, he stood on it. 
stood on it. And I, like many others, we respect him for owning up to it and standing on it. That's all I can say. Um, Samuel, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Rochester in the building. Okay, thank you. Sir Shy. okay, I got your donation. Uh, hey, Janet. Janet, are you tapping in? Okay, okay. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, okay. Um, hey, Sabor, is that my my homie Sabor? Is that the homie Sabor from Newark, New Jersey? OJ Simpson actually received close to forty thousand dollars monthly from social Social Security alone, and also had his NFL monthly pension. Yeah, he wasn't nowhere near broke. And Nicole Brown was Catholic. I, yeah, I didn't. I never heard that she was a Jew, you know? Fucking around out there in Brentwood. And goddamn, uh, the, the drug dealers dropping packages off, allegedly. Uh, um, mm, peace to jail. Talking about Saladin was a Muslim king who conquered many. That's a fact, sir. Salute to David. I just, you know... I, David David had plenty of time to get ready for the conversation as Jesus, a fictional character, you know. <laughs> he did a great job, too. Um, is it Evelyn? Hey, Evelyn. Yes, star Jesus is real. Okay, hey, if, if, if Jesus lives in your heart, who am I to say different? Huh? If, if he inspires you, that's, that's a great thing. Uh, CEO Dante, are you calling in, sir? If not, thank you for your donation. Two-tone, got your donation. Well, well sir, I actually um, have a lot of respect for um, Pastor Gino Jennings. I'm not sure if you've ever heard me say, I saw him live in North Philly at his church. It's not about a debate, sir. I mean, when, when you respect someone's belief or non-belief, then what is there to debate? He knows that Bible. I've said that, but I don't subscribe to that. So I wouldn't have to try and prove him wrong or, or prove something about the Bible that he's not necessarily acknowledging. Thank you for your donation. I'm not a believer. So, so the, the, the Bible itself to me is folklore, but thank you for your donation. Yeah. Um, Jell also says nursery rhymes. Mammy taught them good book, okay? Area code 314. Good evening. Thank you for your patience. Are you there? 314. Hey, what's up, Star? This is Manuelli, the fighter. How's it going? Hey, man. Good to hear from you. You are in my community section, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. I'm getting subscribers every day, so. Nice. Appreciate that. Nice. Where do you want to start, man? Yeah. Where do you want to start? Yeah, I want to start with OJ. OJ, first off, you said this is a real nigga show tonight, right? Let's go, man. Let's go. Yeah. So first off, OJ is a real nigga. He's innocent. That's number one. Uh, I get sick and tired of these niggas. Uh, oh, like all these white people. Oh, OJ, this and that. Like, we don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? So he's innocent in my book. Innocent until proven guilty. Um... I think his son did it, from mm. what I've seen the easy. documentaries. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But you know, um, and you know, <laughs> Jesus is King. You know, Jesus is Lord. Okay. The Bible is real. Okay. Uh, you know, if niggas read the Bible and followed the Bible, we'd have a lot less. Pro Here's the thing, right? <clears throat> so, I've uh went back and forth with this my whole life. Recently. Um, I came to the conclusion that the Bible is real and okay. Jesus is real because okay. if it wasn't, why would all these, uh, you know, for example, in the hip hop industry, all these dudes are wor worshiping Satan and stuff. So if God isn't real, Jesus isn't, isn't real. Why is there always the need to mock Jesus? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Why is there always the, so because, uh, in life there's always, 
there's light and dark, right? So in my opinion, um, yeah, Jesus is real. The Bible is true. Uh, and when I follow the Bible's teachings, my life goes really well. When I don't, it goes less. I so can, yeah. uh, I can respect that. And I can respect that. You know, yeah. and, um, you know, I believe that Jesus was resurrected. Okay. There's so many things that we don't know about the world that we're in. You know, like uh, science is just another religion. I believe that we're mentally conditioned into believing in the reality that most of us live in. And uh, yeah, I think there's so much, there's stuff like, for example, I think last year they found uh, a cave in Thailand that, that has its own ecosystem that uh, it has clouds inside the cave, you know, and the people who live there in Thailand say like, Hey, they see lizard people coming out the cage, the cave. Who knows? But I'm saying we don't know really even half of what this world really is. You know what I'm saying? And we're conditioned to think uh, a certain way. So in my opinion, yeah, Jesus did uh, resurrect, you know? And um, if he didn't, and if Jesus was just a myth, why is there so much power behind this myth? You know, why is there so many people trying to uh, constantly uh degraded and you know uh worshiping the devil right in front of us it's be and you know i know you uh you're really into isaac newton and you're that you put me on that book uh principia so isaac newton you know a lot of his predictions and stuff like that well, can i can i stop you right there for a second um i had yeah. i had to go to that book as a source before i could you know um come to the conclusion of being not just a non-believer, but an objectivist. I believe in myself, mm -hmm. so I do believe in something. I'm not just wandering aimlessly. Um, I, I do not believe or I do not subscribe to existentialism. No, I don't mm -hmm. believe I don't believe that. But uh, I had to go through uh, Sir Isaac Newton and others. But go ahead. Yeah. So you know, Isaac Newton. <clears throat> You know, he was a big believer in the Bible and he uh, predicted the end of the world and stuff like that through uh, reading the Bible. So also, if the Bible wasn't true, why is it that there's the Vatican has uh, libraries, miles and miles and miles of documents uh, hidden, right, hidden from us? So, yeah, in my opinion, Jesus is real. Uh, the Bible is true. And there's multiple versions of the Bible. You know, people will, uh, you know, change things based on their narrative. But I believe that if you do research and your own research and you come to your own conclusion, um, you know, for myself, the answer that I found is that it's true, you know. I'm sorry, I was looking at something, but you have the floor. Hey, man, I, re oh. I respect your um, belief, you know, and, and if it... If it brings joy and peace and comfort to you, who am I to say you're wrong? Yeah. How, did, how? One thing, uh, I don't get how, you know, uh, I respect your opinion as an atheist, but however, I don't understand how, um, you know, people who are atheists can wake up in the world, look around, look at everything, see our phones, see AI being created, see things that are unexplainable and not believe that there's more to the especially you because you you seem like you studied religions and you studied uh a lot of things so i'm kind of perplexed because it's like you know this world is so complex how could you not believe that there's a creator well you're talking about the um the 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 the, the state of being yes or the state of being conscious uh, exactly. A state of being conscious, um, the just unexplainable things in this world, uh, you know, yeah, like how could you believe in evolution when uh, we're, we're clearly different than every, every other thing on this planet, right? Monkeys are still here. Uh, I didn't say I subscribe to evolution. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. So what but, but now hang on a second. I, 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 I respect where you're where I think you're going, but let me just say this, you know. Um improbability is not evidence of design. 
You know, mm. I, I hear you and I hear where you're trying okay. to go, but okay, so improbability. So what about this? Hang on, hang on. Is not evidence of design. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't know uh, the things that you profess to know. You have the knowledge, so you say, right? Yeah, uh, yeah I do. I think okay. to a degree. Oh, let me go left for a second. Well, Make, wanna, hang on a sec. Hang on a second. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're in my community section. You are a famous MMA fighter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let me hear you say the Jews live in false hope. <laughs> uh, hang, hang, on, hey, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Since you have the truth, the supreme, uh. <laughs> the supreme knowledge, let me hear you say it. The Jews are living in false hope. Hey, my business partners, hey, just like you, uh, my no, business, no, those are my no, business partners. No, 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 don't, don't, don't cop out. You just said you nah. have the knowledge. You have the truth. The truth, oh. the truth is the light. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't I can't speak on that. Oh you know? <laughs> yeah. hang on. Like, hang yeah, on. I can't speak on that. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> we got him, kids. <laughs> now hang on. Jesus is your Lord and Savior above all. Right? Yeah, that's a fact. That's you, a fact. You asked me about waking up and seeing phones and a fucking <laughs> a can of fucking Red Bull, silly shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when in reality, <laughs> when in reality, you're talking about the metaphysically given. The metaphysically given. I can't explain this shit just like you can't explain this shit, but you know, I'm respectful, you know. I mean, we can talk yeah. about nitrogen, you know, and all sorts of shit and matter and yada yada yada. But yeah. you, sir, say Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Jesus is the truth. That's the whole fact. Okay. So then the Jews live in false hope. I can't I can't speak on that. I mean, that's like uh I believe in what Sir, I, you're not strong in the faith. You know? Hang on, you're not strong in the faith. Mm -hmm. Not strong in the faith. No, nah, I'm strong in the faith. You know, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, no. You said, you're scared. You're scared. You, 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 you're scared. You're scared. You're scared. scared? Nah. You're scared. Nah. You're scared. I have business partners. I don't want to offend none of my business partners. However, uh, your, Jesus is your, the your, truth. your partners come before Jesus. I feel like this. The Bible says. I feel like this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to give you the last word. The Bible says, lift thy voice like a trumpet. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Whatever it says Finish in the up. Bible, Finish up. I subscribe to. And another thing, whatever it says in the Bible, I subscribe to. However, uh, okay, you're a man of science as well, from what I understand. Ne ne never mind me, sir. Is ne never mind me. We're done with me. I don't know <laughs> shit. I'm a fucking dropout. Yeah. Are you done? You done? Yeah. I appreciate you done. You done? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, oh yeah. Let me promote real quick. Yeah, good, um, good, good. At Emmanuel Lee Adzo on all platforms, specifically YouTube. I'm posting videos every single day. Nice. Uh, appreciate you so much, Star. Love yeah, the show. Love this topic. Thank you, sir. And, uh, yeah, you know, streets got no love, but, yeah, uh, keep doing your thing, and Thank I'll, you, I'll tap in soon. Thank Peace. you, sir. Thank you. I'm an atheist, a non-believer. But if you ask me, according to, you know, the system of believing the Jews are God's chosen people. <laughs> if I were a believer. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I wanted to print something out. Okay, okay. Guys, there's my email address on the screen for advertising, business, and so on and so forth. To, to hell with intimation. Let's, let's keep this conversation going. I took the nap earlier, huh? We on real nigga time. Mr. C, I love you and I miss you, my nigga. Bedford Stuyvesant stand up, huh? Brooklyn stand up. Uh, okay, Jell talking about Alistair Crowley. Thank you so much. Um, 
Peaches. Hey, Peaches. Which Peaches is that? Damn. I've known a couple of girls named Peaches from back in the days. Were you the one that had that real fire pussy? Oh, guys, give me a second. Is that Peaches from East Harlem with the fire pussy? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. Okay, you're, you're different Peaches. Gavi, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Mm. Mm. Anything a white take credit is real and powerful. Okay. JL got your donation. Number nine wants David to spread his mustard, his mustard seed on his rod. Hey, number nine lives in his truth. He says he's sexually free. Hey, Nikita, thank you for your donation, darling. She says, Star, stop. Uh... <laughs> Star, so stop playing bussy connection games. Bussy connection games. Listen, number nine is my homie. He texts me. He said, hey, man, let me talk to that guy. Number nine said that, said that shit. Um, thank you for your donation, Nikita. Okay. Uh, okay, Emmanuel just sent me a donation. Guys, Emmanuel is the uh, the MMA fighter in my community section. He, he didn't want to talk about, you know, the he didn't want to get too deep with it, but uh, thank you. Um, uh, J Ben, okay, J Ben, you sent me something to your IG page. What's going on, man? It was cracking. Andre got your donation. R.I.P. O.J. Simpson, aka Freedom Fighter. I wouldn't call O.J. a freedom fighter. I mean, I mean, his trial spoke volumes, and it was a monumental trial. But you know, O.J. he kept it real about his preference in women. You know. You know, I mean, he, he did have some beautiful children. I remember O.J. Simpson and his wife, I forget her name, on, on the cover of Jet Magazine back in the 70s. So so he kept it, you know, trill, as you say, you know, in the 70s with his black queen. But once he started getting the bag, you know, he, he said, OK, <laughs> I, I got to cross over. Um, uh, hold on a second, guys. Uh, do, 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 do. Tony's Auto Works. Tony, we don't do uh, dollar donations. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck is wrong with you. Um, okay, okay. Someone's sending me an email. I don't know what that's about. Andre got your donation. Mm. So I don't know if Notorious B.I.G. liked Boy Cunt, but, but if he did, so what? He died at an early age, man, you know? Notorious B.I.G. Had, had, had a transformer in... Uh, one of his videos, I forget which one, and you know, just hey man, I have friends who just happen to be gay, they're not my gay friends, they're my friends who just happen to be gay, you know. And, and uh, you know, hey man, if that's all you want to want to remember, Mr. C, by way of okay, but I mean, he, he was a great guy, man. If, if, you, if you really want to know, area code 404, hold on a second, guys. Thank you for your patience. 404, good evening. Are you there? We're having an extended Man, show. good evening, big nigga. Yes, sir. Big yes, sir. nigga, good evening, man. How are you, sir? Man, first off, man, if the glove don't fit, you, you must, must have quit, quit, man. All right. right. Yeah, man, R.I.P. O.J. Simpson, man. Nigga, I wasn't alive for none of that Bronco stuff, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? I used to watch them on Twitter. Yeah. With that uh fantasy football, mm -hmm. and you know on camera, you know what I'm saying on camera on show, Salute that man always he always had some thing to say. So right. you know, man, you gotta say R.I.P. to him. Right. And you know that man, um, man, this trans gentleman Bruce Jenner, man, saying some re talking real spicy, crazy, talking about some, uh, yeah, man, good Reddit. Like, hold yeah. on, nigga, like, nigga, you want Wheaties, nigga, you want a Wheaties cereal box, nigga? Don't nobody eat Wheaties, nigga. Like, come on, man. Well, right. back in the days we did, sir. Back in the days, he he was he was oh, a my real fault, one. My fault. He won the decathlon in seventy two. But you know, the nigga since has you know he's he's uh, I don't I don't know if, if if he cut his tool off, but you know he's he's some type of uh, old old uh, sassy bitch. Yeah, Caitlin, fuck out of here. Yeah, Go nigga. Ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, nigga, in my era, nigga, that nigga, he a nigga bitch. I don't know what mm. he got going on. Let's go. Yeah, nigga, but like, Let's go. yeah, nigga. Up there, nigga, you mad that nigga fuck your wife, nigga? Come on, man, don't, 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 don't start. Come on, nigga, hating on niggas and shit, man. Right, What's up, right, that right, nigga, man? Right, right, 
Right. We on that type of time tonight. Had, 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 yeah, his, man. had his wife's ankles allegedly behind her neck, hitting the bottom of that shit. And then and then out comes Chloe, uh, allegedly. Yeah, Got man. It. Nigga mad that ain't his kid and shit. What's wrong with that <laughs> nigga? And then one more thing. Hey, nigga, I heard you talking about Raven Johnson from uh, South Carolina earlier, man. You know, Ooh. I want to talk about that too, man. Come on. Yeah, I gave it to Caitlin Clark, man. Come on. Man, all these white folks sitting over here thinking they found the next motherfucking Larry Bird and shit, man. What's up with these folks, man? <laughs> and then, listen. Hey, nigga, like, I'm going to say this, though. Maya Moore, she my go, because that's who I watch. But, hey, nigga, like, when you said the other day, about Cheryl Miller, nigga. Hey, man. Hey, nigga. On cold. We got to get on cold. These yeah. niggas. We on cold tonight, goddamn. It's a black show. Yeah, tonight. nigga. Cheryl cold. Miller scored 100 points in high school. That damn Reggie Miller had a temper tantrum because he scored 50. Like, right. come on, man. Right. Cheryl Miller is the NCAA woman's goat, in my opinion. But yeah, two I, championships, by the way. What right. Caitlin Clark do? Right, 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 right. Come on. So yeah, man, that's all I had to say, man. Uh, man, hey, nigga. Hey, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, hold on. How, how old? Well, is, what's up? What's up? How old is Raven Johnson? Because again, she was the girl who last year, um, uh, Caitlin Clark, on the court waved her off like she ain't even worth guarding. Just let her shoot, right? How old is she, Raven Johnson? She yeah, man, Raven Johnson, man, she probably in her early twenties, man. You know, she went to West Lake High School, South right. Side of Atlanta, won two championships over there, and all that. Right. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. She's probably in her early 20s or whatever. Like, yeah. probably like 20, 21. Right, right. Okay. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, Area Code 810, thank you for your patience. 810, good evening. Yes. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? Sir, I'm alive. I'm alive, sir. What's cracking? What do you want to start? Oh, good, good. Thanks for taking the call. I wanted to chime in on that. Um, that is Jesus' fictional character. Okay. Uh, I sent you an email, too. You can disregard that. Um, we spoke a while back. Um, I, I got a YouTube channel okay. um, where I speak about religion and all that stuff. 20 years I've been in Christianity, so nice, nice. that's my wheelhouse. So um, is Jesus fictional? Um, my opinion, no. I don't believe that he is. I believe that he was a real person. Okay. And a lot of people already said it on the line is that, you know, he was somebody that Rome, you know, targeted, saw who he was. He was out here claiming to be something. It got him out of here. There's other historians who have already mentioned his name. So um, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they came 40 years after. Uh, one of the things I wanted to put on the table too, is that Paul came maybe 20 years after Jesus, and if you notice in any of his epistles, he doesn't mention anything about his birth or his origin. He just focuses in on his resurrection. So those stories... Well, he started preaching the word 40 years after yeah. death. Right, right, right. So, you know, the story has evolved over time, and, and, and one of the things I put on the table to, to anybody that believes... I challenge them on my channel, uh, it's crickets over there, is that I always bring their attention to Mark chapter 16, starting at verse 17, and you can finish it to the end. Uh -oh. but, it says that, but it says that there are four signs that follow them that believe. They speak in tongues, cast out devils, they can take up serpents or drink poison and not be hurt or heal the sick, heal the sick and they shall recover. I always challenge people, you know, just hop on camera, get you a little bit of Clorox. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, uh -oh. you know, drink it. And if nothing happens to you, then the word of God is infallible. But <laughs> if, 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 if that well, does... Well, hang, hang on now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, your channel is okay. called... What is your channel called again? Uh, Real Over Religion. YouTube.com slash Real Over Religion. Send me a link when we finish... Uh having uh, our conversation here so now you, okay you yourself you are a believer yes i uh, know sir i'm an atheist oh. but i was a believer for 20 years okay and uh, I, I came into atheism i would say 2018 you woke up from the dream you woke up from the dream and yes sir my my rational mind is, is, has always made me question i've read the bible genesis the revelation 
many times. And and the things that that, that people people that believe in it, they they never focus on the fact that Paul taught that all believers are supposed to have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They're supposed to be able to perform miracles. But you see a bunch of miracleless working believers out here. So I challenge anybody, Mark six, Mark sixteen, seventeen through the end, perform the signs because that's that's supposed to be the infallible word of God. So it either is true or is not. And that, well, that's hang on a second. You've been on, you've been right on, there. You've been on hold for a while. I'm not trying to challenge you, but have you studied other forms, yes, other forms of religion as well, like um, uh, um, uh, Islam or anything? Have you dabbled into the Hadith? Or the Quran, have you any knowledge in, in that? Those areas are pretty much just the Bible itself. I know Christianity the most. I have looked into Islam. Um, some of the hadiths, I haven't read it all the way through. I've dabbled in uh, Buddhism, Taoism. Um, I kind of look at a little bit of everything, but Christianity is more my wheelhouse. That's the one that I challenge the most because I've been in it. I was a preacher's son. So... Um, uh, it's, it's very hard for people to chant. Be, be careful with the Quran. You know, you fuck around, and, <laughs> fuck around, and get absorbed by those surahs. You know, you, <laughs> you find, you'll, well, find, I, you'll I, find yourself offering salat. Be careful with that. <laughs> well, I, I got a, I got up to about <laughs> surah nine, and I couldn't get through any more of it. It just oh, sounds okay. real repetitive to me. Yeah, so, yeah. Well. Uh, but. Yeah, that, I just I, I just wanted to put that on the table. Anybody that wants to come back and, and talk about the Bible being the Word of God, just read Mark chapter 16, verse 17 through the end. It specifically states, these signs shall follow them that believe. So either be able to perform them or just cut the BS. Well, listen, you've been so on hold. That's all on, I want. No, no, stay with me. You've been on hold and you sent in a nice donation. Um, King James, the first. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He, he he believed in warlocks, demons, witches, and all sorts of things. Yes, you've have you ever heard of demonology? I've heard you talk about it, but I've never read the book. Okay, okay. You can get a, a, uh -huh. a you can get a PDF file. It's it's very old English reading, but uh, you know he speaks about casting out spells and things like that, and. You know, um, but, uh, you know, it, it's it would be good knowledge to know when people who, you know, profess to be. And this is not to kick dirt on the uh, in the direction of people who are believers, you know, but uh, demonology. You know, you have to know what was going through his mind. King James, the first prior to he and his scholars tampering with uh, uh, the Bible, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, historically, this has always been, it's, it's evolved over time. And, you know, the fact that we, I mean, and, and this is another thing I always tell people is our ancestors were slaves for 400 years. Uh, Jesus didn't do anything for anybody <laughs> during that time period. The Bible specifically says the servants are supposed to obey their master. So if this is the type of God that you want to worship that teaches you to, to be a slave. In fact, it even goes back to the Old Testament. It says that they can actually possess you and pass you down to their children. This is where they got that from. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, I don't want to deviate too far from the topic, but, I mean, once you start ripping this stuff apart, I mean, it just defies logic, but okay. Okay, to each their own. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Star. Have yes, a good sir. night. Okay, slow. Hold on a second, guys. Um, okay. Peace to King Simon. He and I chopped it up earlier. <clears throat> Folks, if you're a believer, I, I respect your beliefs. This is not about bashing, you know, what you think and or feel. You know, it's not what the question is about. Is Jesus a fictional character? But you have to you have to dig and do some research and get an understanding of what you're uh, believing in, you know? Otherwise, you can fuck around and find, find yourself, you know, um, in, in one of those big mega churches. 
<laughs> pa- paying a pimp. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, okay, somebody sent me a long ass email. I, I I can't read three paragraphs. I'm sorry. Um, Hold hold on, guys. Um, hold on, I got a sponsor. Oh, and folks, I, I want to say this. If you are a sponsor, please make sure uh, in the community section that you see your banner there. And if you see your banner there, um, please leave a comment under your banner with a link back to your page, okay? If you are an old sponsor and we still have your banner on file, keep your eye on the community uh, page because we are reposting a lot of banners this week. Even if you're not a current sponsor, we want to make sure that you are. um... Hold on a second, that you are getting premium placement. Everybody give me a second. Business over bullshit. Okay, here here's Dope Man's uh banner. Salute to my nigga Dope Man. Dope, Dope Man's a fucking pioneer. He's one of your original trolls. <laughs> Via social media. I'm gonna say that. Thank you for being patient. Janet, how are you? Good evening. Great to hear from you, Janet. Hello, Star. How are you? Janet, I'm alive. I'm alive, you know. I'm out living, niggas. The fuck? I see. I see. I see. Hey, what? It's cracking. What do you want How did that happen? You're healthier than most 90% of these people out here. It must be that liver, Star. You must got a magical look. They must have prayed over your liver. Well, I'm I'm actually before they get to you. You know how old I am, Janet? I told you before. I don't know, about four hundred years. Six hundred and seventy-eight to be precise. Six hundred and seventy-eight. I'm gonna play that in a picket tomorrow. Google it. Google it. Are you in front of a computer right now? No, I'm actually on my phone, but I could Google it. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Google, Google uh, let me six see. six seven eight. By way of the Julian, six seven eight, the Julian calendar. Give her a sec, guys. Six seven eight. Okay. Six seven eight. What do you see? Six seven eight. Okay, Julian calendar, right? Six hundred seventy eight. You say six hundred seventy eight, correct? Yeah, six seven eight. I'm looking right at it. All right. The Julian calendar. All right, I am. I'm looking at it right. I'm looking at it right now. Let's say it started on a Friday. Give her a second. Give her a second. You don't. You don't have any. Um... Okay. Well, I, I don't re- see re- the correlation. Read it. Read it. Read it later. Read it later. Okay. Um. Okay. So. So. So the question, Janet. Uh. Is Jesus a fictional character? Or we can talk about O.J. Simpson, um, um, my homie, Mr. C. R.I.P. What do you want to start, Janet? Well, I'm I'm sorry to hear about the death of your friend. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, you good know, man, good man. Go I ahead. wish it's Go ahead. Okay, so um, what I want to do is I want to talk about if Jesus was fictional okay. character or no. I think Jesus was real. I think the I think the memory of him was fictional. I believe that the um that Constantine um all, all his things from um Pluto teachings down from Aristotle to you know down the years where they made people divine because before before Pluto that was taught by Socrates, most gods and goddesses were like human, like they had flaws. They had, they did things wrong. They had, you know, an equal balance of right and wrong. And then after Pluto teachings, the the gods didn't, the gods were perfect, you know, and so on and so on and so on down the years. And they, you know, and I believe that caught on 
And that's why we have this in the rightness of Jesus, that he was this divine, perfect person. Now, my whole thing is whether um, we believe that Jesus exists or not, it's, it's of no cost because right now in the, at the end of April, uh, they got um, the Israelites, the, over there in Israel, that they call themselves the Israelites. They have gotten five red cows from Texas, and they want to sacrifice sacrifice these cows, these red cows. As they should. Do they want to sacrifice? As they should. Yeah, the reason they want to sacrifice them because they want to um, 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 build the third temple, which means taking down the Dome of the Rock, which means a uh, uh, global war. Now. You believe in sacrifices. Yes, you're a believer, right? Okay, yes, but now here's the thing. Now, the Jews have on their side is the um, devout Christians because they want Jesus to come back. The Jews want Elijah to come for the first time, and the, G and the Christians want Jesus to come back a second time. So whether we believe it or not is, is of no consequences. The thing is that other no. people in power with money believe this. Okay, now, hang on. And they go hang, hang, hang on, hang on. I appreciate you because you you bring some great points to the table. I know you as a, a researcher. Was he a fictional character? That's my question. You're you're going off the rails. No, I I stated no. I stated beforehand that I do not believe that he was a fictional character. I believe he was a real character. He was a real person. I believe he walked the earth. Okay. I think the writings of him was fictionalized. Okay. But I don't think. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Was Jesus a narcissist and worthy of death during that particular time? Son of God, how dare you? Son of God. Well, well, was he worthy of death? Forgive them, Father, right? Forgive them, Father. Who the fuck? Mm -hmm. Kill him. Because they know not what they yeah. they done. Kill, but my kill, whole kill this uh insane maniac, a fucking narcissist. Was he a narcissist, Janet? No, I don't believe so. Why not? I don't believe so. I believe he was a devout believer. And, and I believe that um, that he was he was a philosopher. Mm -hmm. I believe that he he was a, um, a a student of human of humankind, and I think that he was really a crusader in his mind. In his mind, you ever seen God? What's more, yeah, you ever seen God? Have I ever seen God? That's the question. You ever seen God? You know what? I think so. Well. You, you, I well, think so. Hang, 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 hang. So. Come on, come on! All that halfway shit on the fence. You either did or you didn't. Have you ever seen God? <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really. Stop the cat! Um, Stop the cat! Have you ever seen God? No, I believe that God has talked to me. I believe that I have sat and conversated with God. I don't believe if I have seen Him physically. But I have seen him like emotionally and like in my dreams and stuff. And then what's crazy is when he was. So, how could Jesus see God? How could Jesus see God? Well, you know what? God has his own relationships with everyone. And again, the divinity, the fictionalized divinity of a of the perfect man, that comes from the Greek philosopher Plato. That doesn't come from the divinity of what we believe in the Bible. It's fiction, it's, no. it's enhanced. There's no this such, is what I'm saying. There's no such thing as a perfect man, but go ahead. No such thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you, that Jesus, was, I believe Jesus exists, but he wasn't the perfect man that people made him out to be to put him into the character of, of the categorization of being God-like. That is a philosophy that was handed down by Plato over, and people taught that over the centuries, and that's how it came to be. But what is real is in by April 24th, over there in Israel, in Israel, they will be sacrificing these five red cows that they got from Texas to 
be able to blow the horn to take down that dome of the rock, and that is going to be global catastrophe for everybody. So people better start paying attention to what is going on. And I'm not talking April 24th next year. I'm talking about April 24th this year. Okay? I ain't mean to, you know, bum everybody out, but that's no, what's no. going on. Hey, Jen, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Okay. Anything, All right. anything you okay. want to No, no, stay with me. Anything you want to say about OJ Simpson? He's gone but not forgotten. He caught two bodies, and I'll go, fuck! <laughs> Who don't like it? <laughs> I don't believe. I don't believe he. Come on. I don't believe he. I don't believe he killed his wife and that young man. I believe he know who did, but I don't believe he did it because there was not enough evidence to prove that he did it. But I think the fact that we live in a um, racist country and we still haven't gotten over it, over that, and it's still a lot of hate in, the, in people's hearts just by the color of my skin, they, they hate the color of, our, of black people's skin, that um, they want him to be guilty because they want somebody to take the blame. And hey, hang on, Jen. H yeah. hang, hang on before you go. Before you go, do you think that Nicole and and that and that twenty five year white boy who I'm not going to name not not that I'm scared. I just I don't give a fuck about him like that. Do you think that they killed each other fighting over an eight ball? No, I think they got killed over eight ball. I think they got killed over some drugs that they didn't pay for. That and you know, if we want to talk the truth about it, I'm, but blood everywhere. It wasn't a, blood. Hey, oh, give me the coke. Give me the coke. Give me. I just paid for this shit. Give me the coke. <laughs> that was somebody. Let me tell you something. That was somebody that you know that were good with knives, and I don't want to sit here and pinpoint uh, an ethnic group that are good with knives or known to have knives and cocaine. But it is a group of people out here that is known to be good with knives and cocaine. And I think that's who took him out. And I think the family don't want to talk. Oh, hold on a second, Jen. Rastafari Ministries, pardon me. Are you on the line? Rastafari Ministries. Oh, shit, I missed his call. God damn it, 305. Jen, Jen sit tight. Stay, stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. Stay, stay with me. Uh, God damn it, I, I, I missed his call. Shit. Uh, what, what, what were you saying, Janet? I'm sorry. Uh, I think they got killed by um some type of cartel. Mm -hmm. I think they owed some money for the coke they was using. Can you know, a lot of people get coke on credit. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I don't really don't understand that, but you know, how you gonna get with added credit? That's crazy. So um, you know, I think they just <laughs> pay your deal. Up what they were doing. <laughs> You know, back in the day, that's some, what I think. Back in the days, sometimes you give a deal a hundred dollars up front. <laughs> yo, yo, take this shit now because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be broke on the weekend. Take it now. I'll see you Thursday. Just hold that for me. Hold that for me. Anyway, Jenna. Um, yeah, that's called credit. You you build up credit. I don't understand why <laughs> you know I don't understand this borrowing and 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 um I'm gonna give me you know eight ball today and I'm gonna give you X amount of dollars the next day. But then even if you do that, you still got a percentage. You gotta pay a higher cost for that. That's not free. That was actually you know? called a prorated payment. But listen, Janet, thank you so much for tapping in. Great to talk to you. Okay. Thank you, Janet. All right. Bye bye. Yeah, all right. We're going off the rails. Hang on a second. Um, uh, okay, who, who is this? Folks, please don't send me paragraphs during the goddamn show. I'm not reading a fucking paragraph right now. Sheesh. Somebody will get back to you tomorrow. We sitting here talking about my, my homie Mr. C and other things. Fuck on with you. Um, Jay Good got your donation. I don't see in the queue. Did we speak? If not, thank you for your support. Uh, Rastafari Ministries. I don't see you, sir. Okay, who is, um, Barnell got your donation. Hawk Jr., 830, thank you for your support. Lucifer, got your donation. You've been on hold for a long time. Uh, can you sit tight? I'm going to bring you on. Area code 404. You there? Peace. Yeah, peace. I'm here. Peace. Yes, no sir. doubt. Peace. Sit tight, sir. Just give me a second. 
Lucifer, I got your donation. Right. Thank you so much. Um, and um, is, is it Glenice? Hi, Glenice. Yeah, Glenice, send, send pictures here, baby, via email. I don't fuck with uh, Instagram uh, DMs. No, baby. There's too much weirdo shit going on there. Okay, but thank you. <laughs> hey, p- peace. Uh, 404, thank you for your patience. What do you want to start on tonight's topics? Always star peace. peace. What's good, man? Peace, peace. Man, I see we we, we on that brother man time. So, on that so, brother man so, time. Sir, tonight? you can call me brother star. We on real nigga time. We talk. <laughs> we talk about my nigga OJ, my nigga Mister C, who I love dearly. Five on the black hand side. Five on the black hand side. Yeah, five- on that jiggy shit. Let's go. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. And all serious. Uh, nah, I just wanted to um get some commentary on the juice. Please. You know me being a me being a child of the seventies. Okay. You know he 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 was he to me now to me. I know you mentioned Bruce Lee and some other people, but mm-hmm. he was one of the four major sports like superstars and heroes. Mm-hmm. And and that that's uh, Muhammad Ali, Dr. J, Reggie Jackson, and the Juice man. And I just wanted to give him his props, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, with him passing away today. There, there, there were actually that kind of took there, there were others. I mean, if we do a deep dive, Muhammad Ali, I would say was was the biggest yeah. of the big. Uh, evil, yeah, Can- yeah, he was. Evil Knievel. You had Leif Garrett, the, the, uh, uh, David Cassidy, uh, Franco Harris. So the seventies, what was yeah. that? Was that era, man? For like you know, a uh, uh, huge. Sports stars, polarizing figures, Mercury Morris, and a host of others. Mercury but, Morris. Mercury Morris. Huh? Yeah, I grew up in Miami. Okay. I grew up in Miami, so Woo. yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. That 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 head close right there. Yeah, yeah. Mercury Morris, no yeah. doubt. Now, now, <laughs> hang, hang, hang on a sec. You know, people yeah. people talk that uh, uh, um uh, the Patriot shit, and rightfully so. You know, but 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 um uh, uh the Dolphins. Undefeated season mm. and a Super Bowl. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Nineteen seventy-two. Yeah. Now, now the Patriots. Man, yeah, 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 I was born. Patriots. Yeah, I was born. Patriots yeah. had an undefeated <laughs> season, but they didn't get the ring. Mm. So, so they fell short. But go ahead. I'm just. I'm rambling. Pardon me. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You good? They couldn't. Yeah, they they couldn't close the deal out. Couldn't close it. Out. So you know, no, no, no cigar on that. Right. But you know, um. Yeah, man, you got people out, certain people out here kicking dirt on that man's name right now. And um, and they've been doing it for years, you know. Um, it was proven in the court of law that he was, you know, I went, they, they don't call it innocent, but they call it not guilty. So yeah. it was proven in the court of law. Yeah. And, you know, he had, he had the right team with him, the super team with him. So, hey, that's what it was. But I think, I think people, um, might might have gotten upset with him like after the verdict and the way he carried himself. Yeah. You know, kind of kind of throwing it in people's face. Yeah. In the public instead of just laying low, you know. And um that kind of rub well, well, sir, sir, if I can just jump in, you have to pardon me, I'm on one. I've said earlier, I'm glad he's gone. And I'm not saying that to be malicious. I'm I'm glad he's gone because now they can't do something else to him. You know, right. Death right. is the inevitable. We all die, my nigga. But it hurt me to right. see him go to the penitentiary in Vegas. Fuck Vegas. Yeah. Fuck Vegas. For yeah, sh- yeah. For that sit- was for sitting OJ down. Fuck out of here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That was that was that was get back. You know, let's get back. Um, how you gonna put some man? How you gonna put a man in jail for that for that length amount of time just for trying to get some of his stuff back? Right. Right. You know. Right. You know that, yeah, that was, yeah, that 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 was definitely some get back on that, yeah. you know. Yeah. But but yeah, man, he was um he was a very charismatic man, um uh, with the Hertz commercials, and you had mentioned him being in Roots, you know, he had a little ca- small cameo on Roots. I remember that as a child too. So yeah, you know, very charismatic um individual, and he was one of those seventies. He was one of those seventies sports heroes. So I just want to say salute to the okay, Jews. Okay, I you know today. I appreciate your call, man. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you. Appreciate you always, Star. Yes, peace. Sir. Salute, peace. 
Peace, 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 peace. Guys, on the screen, tossedandslice.com. Oh, you can get yourself a free pizza there. Give me a second. I'm doing so much tonight. Um, if you're in the Atlanta metro area, go to that site. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Man, I'm doing so much right now. Okay. Atlanta, go to tossedandslice.com and get any size pizza free with the purchase of an equal or lesser pizza. Just use code STAR REPORT to redeem. Let me print this out, goddamn, because I forgot to do this. And as you know, it's business over bullshit. Okay. Um, extended show, extended show. And folks, let me say again, never mind star. If you believe in Jesus, Jesus is, is your light, your, your, your Lord and Savior. Hey, I, I ain't mad at you. I'm just asking, is he a fictional character? There's a lot of fictional characters out here. There, there's, you know. If you see it different, you see it different, okay? Again, www.tostandslice.com. If you're in the Atlanta area, go to that website and get any size pizza free with the purchase of, of an equal or lesser pizza. Just use code STAR REPORT to redeem, okay? Um, Someone else has been on hold for a while here. Area code 347. Good evening. Are you there? Late night, 347. Are you tapping in on the discussion? Hey. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, Stu? I'm good, sir. Thank chef, you. The chef. Who? Uh, uh, chef. I'm a, a long-time listener. Okay, how are long you, Long-time caller. Thank you for your patience, good, good. sir. What do you want to start, sir? It, yes, yeah, I'm listen, listening to the discussion for a while. Okay. Um, I believe that Jesus was real, okay. but I don't think he exists in the way that people think that he does. I think the Bible was written in the cold for Freemasons to unlock and unravel the science behind the Bible itself. Oh, shit. You're going in that direction. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so go. I think it's, it's really about travelers, world travelers, like people who have advanced science and advanced knowledge. Time travelers? Time travelers? Not time, not time travelers. Not time travelers, just travelers. Just travelers. There's two theories that some people, I don't know, damn, I got to get deep on you, man. Deep. So one theory, one theory is that we are actually living in the simulation, right? And the simulation has been going on in loops. So I only want to tell you I got this information. So let me just break it down for you, right? So basically... We are living in a simulation because mankind has this vicious streak and there's other entities and other aliens that don't think that we are worthy enough to be in a, in a, in a, in a like a UN group with other aliens. So this is a test that we keep, we keep going through and there's other higher, you know, Jesus was like the highest version of us. And so he bought us some time, you know what I mean? So it's like when you see people have deja vu or like, like keep uh, psychics that can tell the future, like they're just connected to that part. Like these are not, these are real phenomena that happen, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're, they're actually phenomena, but they're only phenomena because they're plugged into the, system so to speak sort of like the matrix you know what i mean yeah. and the loops that they're experiencing are just basically uh loops that are in the system so they they recognize the design which is why they're able to tell the future or... i'm not saying you're wrong let me just ju jump in here for a second i'm not saying you're wrong i'm not trying to mock you because what you're saying i had to go through all that once upon a time to reach the position that i do profess to be at right now of, of a rational, mm -hmm. a rational awakening, you know, 
Um, so I'm 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 listening. Yeah. I'm listening to you. Uh, might you want to put may- might you want to put shape shifting on the table along with the theory that you mentioned? Well, well, well. I don't know if it's necessarily the shape. You, you could say that, but it's not the shape shift than that people would think. So Michael Michael uh, Tyson, the uh, my Michael Tyson, the scientist, wrote down string theory. Mm-hmm. And when he broke down string theory, he he basically this is this is regarded by many physicists that agree with this. When they broke down string theory, and they broke down basically the how physics works is no different from how computer coding is. They look they look the same, they shape the same, mm-hmm. ex- pretty much identically. You know what I mean? And it was a big it was recent in the last two, three years that they 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 basically found this out. Um and they were like, yo, like there's really no difference between computer coding and what what basically the reality that we live in when they break it down. So I think those kinds of discussions have been talked about and when you look at the bible a lot of those stories they may seem like enoch the book of enoch they may seem like they're really you know kind of spiritual but they're really talking about maybe like like extraterrestrial type stuff and like i said like if you read it and you read some of these stories you could you could kind of i'm familiar with string theory I had to go through that as yeah. well. So I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm letting you talk. Or you've been on hold for a while, man. I'm, I'm letting you spit. Yeah, you yeah. So like I said, like you look, it's like look into it. I forgot what they call it exactly. There's a name for it, but like I said, they. Well, go, I have looked like, into it. I have, and and most of that I discarded respectfully. But you know, um, I'm not saying yeah. you're. I'm not saying you're wrong. But I've reached. Uh, but a why? Why is that? If I can ask, though. Well, well, again, if it doesn't necessarily hinder me or stop me, then I don't have mm-hmm. I don't have to look down upon it. But I did do what I consider to be enough research to say, OK, that's mm-hmm. that's, you know, a, a theory. There's a lot of theories out there, but uh, mm-hmm. um, I respect people's positions in life as long as they don't try to impose their views upon me. You, you can believe mm-hmm. what you want to believe. You know, but I I deal with more so the metaphysically given in a sense, um, you know, as opposed to uh, mysticism and other things. But uh, go ahead, continue, continue. Yeah, but like like so we read the Bible, a lot of the stories in the Bible. There's Exodus. There's people leaving places, utopias. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and so, so some theories people have about the Bible is those those stories are really about. To, uh alien like like extraterrestrial travel you know what i mean like um there's there's some theories saying that they were there was life in mars you know what i mean like their craters actually look like temples and pyramids and people are finding this with some of these telescopes that are looking deep into mars so there's, there's a theory i forgot why why some dude saying that that's that could have been the last place that humans had traveled to before they got hit and it's, it's kind of some of this stuff is kind of compelling. So, you know, when I when you read the Bible, for those that know have access to this information, they really read in the history of our space travel. If I can jump in for a second, and with all due respect, uh, you've mentioned the Bible a lot. Are you African American? What is your connection to the quote unquote Bible? Well, I'm, I'm West African. You know what I'm saying by a trait, and the, and there's a lot of stories even in the oral tradition that seem kind of you could interpret as spiritual, but there's certain elements that could kind of be interpreted to to that because West, a lot of West African cultures go back to Sudan and they go back to the Nubian empires of Egypt, and if you go back to Egypt. And you, you you still can't figure out how they built those temples. You know what I mean? People believe that. I mean, built built those pyramids. People believe that they were done by pressurized water or some form of technology that we still haven't figured out today. You know what I mean? So a lot of that history has to do with kind of that that kind of you know suggestive science. You know what I mean? Well, with all due respect, your parents were from West Africa. Yeah. You were born here in uh, the great wilderness of North America? South Bronx. South Bronx, okay. 
Well, you sound like a knowledgeable man. You know that the, the Bible has nothing to do with African Americans, right? Nah, I don't. I don't necessarily think so. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you. I think there's a, no, nothing. I think there's a. Hang on, sir. I let you speak. I let you speak. I let you speak. The Holy Bible has yeah. nothing to do with African Americans at all. Why would you say that? <laughs> it wasn't made for you. Do you eat kosher? Cool. Me personally, I, I grew up eating kosher. Yeah. So you you lost your way respectfully, right? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Your parents, did they or do they subscribe to voodoo? Coming out of West Africa? All, all Africans all, all Africans subscribe to some form of ancestral spirituality. Bingo. Let's call it that. <laughs> yeah. So let's not play <laughs> let's not play that little game with the Bible. I think I shit to do with African Americans, man. But hey, I I respect your views, and I thank you for being patient. I do, man. Yeah. All right, bro. Salute. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. This has been a black show tonight. Goddamn. Uh, one more call. Someone else was on hold for a while. You're going to be my last caller. 267, please sit tight. Sit tight. Um, Guys, one more time. TossedAndSliced.com, one of my new sponsors. If you are in the Atlanta area, okay, go to that website and get any size pizza free with the purchase of an equal or a lesser pizza. Just use code STAR REPORT to redeem, okay? David, I want to thank you, man, for tapping in. One of my sponsors, David D. Cordova, uh, the author of Decoded, Decoded 2, and his new book, Angel, you can catch his books in my uh, community section. Okay. And uh, tonight's show has uh, been a little all over the place, but I thank you guys for chiming in with your support. You are my last caller, 267. Good evening. Are you there? 267. Yes, no, maybe. In five, four, three, two, one. Probably fell asleep. 414, you there? You ready? You're my last caller. Last caller. Are yo, you... yo, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, family? Excuse me. Excuse me. I say, how you doing, family? I'm I'm good, uh, black man. Where do you want to start? You're my last caller. Let's finish up the show. Man, I'm gonna, uh, I want to say first of all that... Um, the Bible got everything to do with black folk. Okay. So-called. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. Because the last time I checked, I can't get no ticket to the land of black. And last time I checked, my skin is brown. Okay. And we all different shades of, from light to dark. So the Bible is our, uh, is the records of our history. You know what I'm saying? Our ancestors writ that. And you can tell by the, by the word play in there, the same that we talk. The same way we talk with slang and everything, that's how it is. But we take that book and it's been applied to everybody but the people that it belonged to. Can I ask you to just finish up on the topic? Uh, because we've kind of like left the topic. Is Jesus a what? fictional character? No, no. Yahabasha. Yahabasha is is a is a real. He's real. He's real. Okay. He's real. He's definitely real. And it seemed like when he when we find out he's a black man, then we can't be saved now. You know, what I'm he's a black man, hair like wool, skin like blonde, like bronze, as if burnt in the furnace. So that he was a dark, melanated man. Now, the, and the things that's written in there will make our community better. This is so everybody that I've been listening to, you know, I've been hearing some, some, you know, some, some wild things, you know, kind of, you know, you know, some of this stuff, you know, it's good for. Well, sir, I, I want I want to hear from you. Please don't critique the other callers. That's that that's yeah, okay. Keep it on keep it on you. Right. You you say Jesus is not a fictional character. He's not. No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. No. Nah. Okay. And 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 the rightness is real. Got you know you. what I'm saying? Got you. Okay. Is, I can respect that. If that's what you believe, I can respect that. 
Um, what did you say now? I can respect your your um, beliefs and your uh, without necessarily saying uh, you're you're wrong. Pardon me, I hit hit a button on my um, mixer here. Okay, OJ Simpson. Any thoughts, sir? He's passed away. Yeah. Uh, That's my. Man, love to that brother. <laughs> love to the Jews. Love to the Jews. Love to the Jews. <laughs> Man, rest in peace, yeah, yeah. He caught two bodies and I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when the went down, they went down. Hey, that's what it is. Uh, hey, ain't got no love. Ain't no love lost for him. Hey, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Um, but, yeah. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. You too, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, brother. Okay.